It is a truth universally acknowledged that every now and again a situation arises that defies explanation. And so it was with the ascension of the Third Street Saints. When the Saints made their presence known to the world in 2006, they were decried for being pretenders to the throne. The people were confused. Were the Saints sociopathic killing machines hell-bent on destruction? Or puckish rogues living a life of mirth and whimsy? The Saints needed clarity of purpose, and so the course was set. More fun, less mercy killing. This simple choice revitalized the Saints, transforming them from a degenerate street gang into beloved pop culture icons. But even then, the Saints were not satisfied. For it's one thing to be revered as a hero, it is another to be a hero. And that, my friends, is where our journey begins. We need to move. You're a real people person, aren't you? I'm sorry, is this a counter-terrorist operation or a saint's flow shoot? I'm shy. Ashiro to come. Follow me. business we know what's at stake do you look lady this motherfucker knows how to get shit done don't you worry about me what's security my tech guy bought us a 10 minute window if we move fast we'll only need to worry about the guards on foot how many of those are there don't know about the numbers inside but there are about eight marching the perimeter on my signal we oh hell We gotta move! Hassim Allah is in is not really our thing. Come on, this way. Base, are you there? What are we walking into? The intelligence I'm looking at suggests... Hold on. Hide, truck on its way. Kinsey, be nice. But seriously, Matt Miller is a Kirby attacker, a venerated agent of MI6, and a key member of our operation. And the fact that he tried to kill us. What's past is past. We are all working together now. Let's focus on the job. As I was saying. Hold that thought, Matt. Guards ahead. Saying. The nuke is stashed deep in the compound. It's likely primed and ready to go. Getting booted from the U.S. at Cyrus Temple off the deep end, but teaming up with terrorists? Seriously? And we're in. 
Get my back. You should be nearing the missile. Why would? I should have killed you in Steelboard! Well, maybe take it personal. You ruined Steelboard! Ruined America! Money game. Our leaders failed America by letting you live! Time to destroy Washington and start over! Nothing can stop me now! Especially you! Uh -huh. Cyrus has seriously lost. Matt, Kinsey, what's going on? Shit! A site's bombing the compound! Oh, wait a minute! We're still in here! I'm not dropping the bomb! Just get them to stop! I'll do what I can, but work quickly. Don't move! This shit! He's coming off the box! Deal with this first. In line, let's go! There he is! Quick, get ahead of him! Steal an insolent child! This is a problem. It's not a problem. You alienated part of America. I alienated crazy people. You couldn't resist, could you? Jesus, not you two. This is a problem. I keep trying to explain that, but the president won't listen. Poverty is a problem. Apartheid is a problem. This, this is just a couple of... Here's the latest approval poll. We lost 20 points. We can get them back. They're at 20 points. I'll admit that's a little lower than anticipated. So you agree you have a problem? Nope, you do. You're the communications director. Fix this. Can you give me 100% employment? No. Will you get married? Fuck no. Then I'm in trouble. King, can you have this naysayer assassinated? Not when you say it publicly. I'm more fun as a gang leader. We have a country to run. Fun isn't part of the equation. Who's a septic truck when you need one? 
Come on, Keith, have some good news. He schedules a press conference for this early in the morning. Listen, we've got enough clout right now for one major bill, not both. What do you want me to push forward? Do you want to be the president who cured cancer or the president who solved world hunger? Speaking of hunger, uh, tell the kitchen to send up a burger. Good choice. I hope Kenzie's keeping the sharks at bay. Now, you listen here. If you think you can cram your agenda past Congress, you are in for a rude awakening. You hear me? Now, let me tell you a little something about the greatest word in politics. Filibuster. I got a word for you. Ow! My face! Oh, man, I think I cut my knuckle on that senator's teeth. Oleg and I are about to head over to Camp David to watch some Nightblade. Yep. You down? Boom! And save me some popcorn this time. I'm your number one fan! Nice work, Oleg. <sighs> the president's words were taken out of context. Kinsey, what's the right context for, and I quote, I'm the patron saint of America. We should probably look into changing the Pledge of Allegiance to one nation under me. That's a great question. Jane? I think we have a problem. Oh, not you two. How many times do I have Asha to... Asha and Miller are waiting for you in the Oval Office. If MI6 needed something, they would send it up the chain, not fly across an ocean. They said nobody back home believes them. Jesus, what's going on? They think we're about to be attacked by aliens. I gotta go. This is serious. You know that Kinsey's been saying the same thing. When did you start taking Kinsey seriously? When the people who helped us save the world said we should. All right, I'll swing by after I... <laughs> Salvation within the Zin Empire. I'm smarter than all these people. Delightful. Guns. Told them we should have a gun every five steps. Every five steps, I said. There you are. Thank God you're all right. You okay? Where's Matt? Upstairs, trying to find out what's happening. What is happening? All out war, by the looks of it. Here's Finn. We gotta move. Shit, players, save yourself! Fuck that, save me! Millions of people are disappearing around the globe. We got this. That's Incalculable. Responsible for a better you than me. How are we not ready? Shit. Oh, these are so dead. I'm trained for this. The enemy is trying to find my soft invaders as the. Matt and I are at the south portico. You have to see this. Where are you, asshole? Take out my cabinet or rip your fucking head off. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Matt, hold on to me. Awesome, Matt. God damn it. of you are there. Bird to Ernie, Bird to Ernie. Activate South Portico defenses. Let's do this, you beautiful thing.
do you humans enjoy leaping so much? Get off my lawn, you son of a bitch! Didn't count on me, did you? Well, hello there. Welcome aboard. I'm gonna hang you over the fireplace, you idiot. Fuck! Now, now. Not so far. Anything more charming? Fuck me! Yes! Oh! You gotta do what exactly? Huh? Bravado me to death? <laughs> I'm going to have fun breaking you. <laughs> oh, goodness me, what a dream. Across the street is going out of town for a few weeks. He was wondering if you could check his mail for him. Oh, and your friend Pierce called. I'm sure he has some crazy new get rich scheme. Oh, that Pierce. Such a card. And someone named Dex stopped by earlier. I didn't recognize him, so I just sent him away. I think I heard Timmy deliver the paper earlier. Could you fetch it, dear? Sure thing, dear. I diddly eye, neighbor. Ooh, I wonder what's going on in the world today. You ready to meet the fine people of Steelport? Well, <laughs> get in the car. Uh, don't I usually drive? It's your world. Go ahead. Boy, they sure are anxious to meet you. They? <laughs> well, you do have a queer sense of humor. Why does this all look so weird? Now, what's that you say? Something's wrong. This is all... Can't wait to get out to the lake this weekend. I hear the fish are really biting. The fish are... What are you talking about? Don't you worry now. We're almost there. Well, here we are. Why don't you glad hand a bit? We got time. Confound it, my toe! Can I get a picture? Aw, thank you kindly. Looks like it's time. Your public is waiting. Oh, my stars, it's the president! Hi, how are... What the... We don't use that kind of language here in Steelport. going on? Where the f*** am I? I gotta get the f*** out of here. 
Hello? Hello? Kenzie? Kenzie, where are you? Finally! Listen to me. No time to explain, but you have to break free. Break free? From, from what? The place you're in isn't real. Whatever it's having you do, you need to stop. I'm... driving a car. Okay, good. There's a park nearby. Head there and give me a sec. Brace yourself. Brace for... Oh my god! I need some more time before I can get you out. It'd be really helpful if you could just, you know, just be you. Be me? The simulation is all about normalcy. Pleasantry, order, all the things you hate. Go forth. Unleash hell. You're doing great. The simulation is... Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a what? What's going on? Couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? You had to push and push and push. I hope you've enjoyed your last moments. I'm impressed. Where the hell are... Ah, fuck me. I should have realized a prison of peace would never hold a sociopath like yourself. I'm more of a puckish rogue. A rose by any other name. Are you trying to kill me or sleep with me? Charming. See, there you go with those mixed messages again. Then allow me to be perfectly clear. I am the architect of your reality. I build what I want. I destroy what I want. And your bravado means nothing. Pointless, my friend. There's nowhere to run. You belong to me. Now, on to more pleasant things. I'm going to place you in your new home. Try to run again, and I'll destroy your pitiful planet. Did you ever? Guilty of crimes against the Zin Empire. But today is your lucky day. Today, you get to be a part of a new work release program. Swear your fealty, and I will empower you to be Wardens of Simulation 31. You will have one purpose. Torment the President of the United States. Beyond that, the world is yours to toy with. Ravage it. Indulge in your basest desire. It makes no difference to me. Uh, just leave the prisoner alive. I want them broken. Not dead. Go now. And tear their world asunder. Oh, head rush. Where am I? Come in, President. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you and... How the hell am I hearing you? I don't have a phone on me. I just patched myself into your simulation and projected my voice through the audio system. You should be able to hear me from anywhere. And you don't have to yell. Okay, because that's not a little creepy. Kinsey, I'm unarmed here. How about get me out? I can't do that until I backtrace your signal to your physical body. Until then, you're stuck there. So you might want to go buy a gun. <sighs> right. Friendly fire it is. You... you will be able to get me out of here, right? Eventually. I'm still trying to figure out the Zin systems. Basic hacks like hooking into the audio system isn't hard. Trying to disconnect you and find your body, that's a bit more involved. And changing me out of these ridiculous clothes isn't a basic hack? On my list of priorities, that doesn't even make my top 500. If you were wearing this, I'm sure you'd up that priority. If I was wearing that, I'd be asking you to shoot me in the head. How is that big dome? Hmm, not sure. I'll have to look into that. 
Zinyak put his people all over the city here. From what I can see, a lot's been taken over by the Zin. There's alien technology everywhere. Oh, you gotta be enjoying this. Just a little. How long till this? I think the whole White House was destroyed? I don't know. Maybe. Why? I was thinking if it was, we could get Ultor to rebuild it. You know, add more defenses, more weapons, a few underground jet hangers. Are you serious? Well, maybe in a few more stripper poles in the bedrooms. More? You already had some stripper poles? I had one installed like the first day I was in office. <sighs> wow. Uh, Kinsey? All your stuff's gone. What? Damn it! Zinyak removed all signs of the Saints from the simulation. That means... There's no more safe houses for us in the city. Right. So, what do we do about that? Hmm. Not sure yet. Though any help you can give with gathering information on systems in the simulation would be useful. I'll leave any tasks I have for you in the quest section of your hub. Got it. Anything else? Just hang in there. I promise I'll find a way to get you out. And the sooner the better. These data clusters seem to be loose bits of code left behind by the simulation for some reason. I've only been able to locate a small amount right now, which I'm having trouble locking onto. Once in the general area of a cluster, I should be able to direct you to its location. Kinsey, why are you sending me after these things, and where exactly are they? I'm still trying to figure out precisely what they are, but they seem like they'll be useful. There are several near my warehouse. I can't pinpoint their exact locations, but I marked the general areas for you. Um, okay. Okay. Watch your proximity meter to see if you're getting closer to the cluster, or farther away. All right, got another. This data is amazing. Incomplete, but amazing. I know I'm gonna regret this, but how is it amazing? It seems that anything that broke the normal rules of the simulation deposited loose data that can be incorporated into your programming. Huh. I actually kind of understand that. But since the data is so fragmented, it doesn't leave behind a complete subroutine to loop into your code base. Nope. Never mind, you're talking gibberish again. Ugh. It's simple. The more clusters you get, the more you can upgrade and alter your abilities. Ah, we're talking the same language. So, if these data thingies... Ugh. Clusters. Fine, clusters. If they can be so useful, then why isn't Zinyak sending his people out to collect them? Why would they need them? To give his people a boost or something. I don't know, you're the one who says they're amazing. If Zinyak wants to change the code for his people, he can just... He wrote the simulation! Yeah, but what about keeping us from... You know what? N never mind. I'm just gonna accept this and move on. Probably better that way. I've constructed a door that'll allow your mind to get out of the simulation and back into your body. Head toward it. Got it. Fill me in, Kenzie. What do we know about the Zen invasion? The good news is they didn't get everybody. Just a whole bunch of people. According to what I've been able to decipher, the simulation is designed to house the best and the brightest specimens from various worlds. The best and brightest from an entire planet? How big is this thing? Big. But they haven't gotten to all of Earth yet. Just the major cities. Last I heard, Oleg was up at Camp David. That area doesn't look like it's been hit yet. Okay, so we got people left on Earth. Good to know. Once you're free from the simulation, I can sever your connection to the Zin Matrix. This will allow me to retrieve your body here in the real world without you suffering permanent brain damage. Where, where am I in the real world? Like, what are they doing to my body? It's in a safe place. Once you're free, I'll pick you up at the landing platform. Kenzie, door's locked. Wrong door. Ooh, nicely done. Well, that didn't go terrible. Can you quit being a baby and just walk in? Look, lady, we're doing this in my time. No, you're not.
feel like a toilet at a bus stop. Give me that. Stick. I'm getting us out of here. Gee, Kenzie, thanks for saving my life. Why, thanks, boss. I love being appreciated. Boss, I'm the president now. When did you turn into such a jerk? Surprise, Kenzie. I've always been an asshole. Thank you. I mean it. You're not wearing pants. This just got weird. A little bit. Can I fly now? Knock yourself out. <laughs> We're not really leaving the others, are we? Hell no. But if we're taking the fight to Zinyak, we'll need all the help we can get. Kinsey, can you get in touch with Oleg? Yeah, we should be in range. Huh. I always thought Nightblade was just a vampire show. Oh no, my friend. It is the essence of drama. Hey, you need to take that? You know anyone with the 217 area code? Is that St. Louis? Mm. Probably tell Margaret. Oof. Ignore. Voicemail? You want me to leave a message? Uh, it's all gone. Well, I'd say this was a productive day. You're a fucking monster. Oh, don't act surprised. I told you this would happen. You killed seven billion people. Whoops. We're done talking. He's not getting away with this. You're goddamn right he's not. Kinsey, can you use this thing to place me back in the simulation? Yeah, I think I should be able to. Do it. Wait, you want to go back in there? You can't kill Zinyak plugged into a computer. I can kill a lot of people with a computer. You? Sure. You need help setting the DVR. If taking over a small part of the simulation led you to me, taking over the whole damn thing has to do something good. You don't even know what will happen. She probably does. The president is right. Whenever the simulation is disrupted, I have a small window to work my way inside the Zen security network. The more it's disrupted, the more time I'll have to map out Zinyak's mothership. I can identify structural weakness, locate where they're keeping our friends... And find Zinyak. Yeah. All right, let's do this. When historians look back on the fall of the Zin Empire, this will be the defining moment. An act that was supposed to demoralize, galvanized. And a course was set that the Saints could never back down from. But even more monumental is this. If the Earth was not destroyed, pragmatism would have won over desperation. And the Saints would never have been reunited with the most dangerous man in all of history. Johnny Gat. 
but ever as always I'm getting ahead of myself. Like all good stories, the second act begins with a call to action and the building of a robot. If Zinyak wants a fight, we're going to bring it to him. Taking down this simulation will wreak havoc on all the Zin systems and help us locate our friends. There's plenty you can do to overload, disrupt, and generally break the whole damn thing, so let's start small. I know hacking stores seems trivial, but it's a good place for us to begin. All right, get moving. Greetings. If you want to find and rescue your friends, you will meet me at my rift. Goodbye. That was odd. No kidding. Does this guy really think we would just trust some random ghost in the machine? Well, if he can help, it'd be worth it, right? Besides, what's the worst that can happen? I died. You died. We all died. Any combination that involves death at all, really. Look, I showed up to your rift, so start explaining how you'll get me to my friends. I know how to navigate the Zin systems and travel between them. If you can find the right simulation, I can open a gateway between that one and yours. How do I know you aren't just one of Zinyak's goons fucking with me? Because I have no love for the Zin, as I was once their prisoner too. I have been stuck inside the Zin simulations, creating rifts, which cause chaos for Zinyak. Though the Zin inevitably shut them down. Then why am I here doing this? Your help ensures I am able to keep them open permanently. A benefit to us both. So why don't you do this yourself? Where are you, anyway? My body has long since died. I implanted my consciousness into the main simulation computer many years ago. But then how can you open these gateways for me? I cannot. That is, not unless you find me a physical gateway for them. I can download my memory matrix into first. So I find you a body, and I'm supposed to just trust that you'll help me? Unlike humans, I keep my word and pay my debts. Besides, you know you need me. There, you finished your rift. My access code is 1331. Use it when you find me a suitable form. So the AI won't help me break into other simulations unless he gets a body. So how do we get him one, Kenzie? The Zen have almost everything in the simulation locked tight, but there is something you can use. A control and interface device. Okay, great. Where do I find one? You're in luck. The Zen have a bunch in transit right now. The Zin are using CIDs to bring a downed hotspot online. Once you have a CID from them, get it to a safe spot and wipe its old programming so the AI can upload its personality into the new shell. Go back to that first hotspot you took down. You can get a CID there. Simple smash and grab, huh? Sure. Go with that. Just get one and take it to a safe spot. You don't want to deal with Zin while trying to hack that device. I'm curious, is there any way to get this AI a body in the real world, too? At this point, the AI is purely information. He's entirely digital. You could download him to your phone if you wanted. Why? Does he want a body? Would you want to be stuck inside the simulation forever? Good point. I'll check the ship for a suitable shell, just in case. Once Sid's up and running, how long until we can use him to get my crew? Well, assuming the AI wasn't lying, I don't see a reason why we shouldn't be able to get right to it. Speaking of which, who do you want to grab first? Pierce? Johnny? I, uh... I think we should get Matt. Miller? Oh my god, why? Hey, Matt turned himself around after Steelport. He joined MI6, helped us with Cyrus Temple, and, you know, he's... useful. Ish. Useful? You have a lot on your plate, Kinsey, with all this cyber what's-it. Figured you could use the help. I'm doing just fine without Matt Miller. Thank you. Two heads are better than one, Kinsey. Set it up. All right, we got Sid. So, how do we use him to get Matt? Uh sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. Kenzie, if he can help us find the others, then yes, I'm certain. Now, how does this work? Well, I give Sid the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens the gateway. All right, let's go get the kid, then. I was shocked when the boss picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. Kenzie, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha. Matt Miller, self-proclaimed hacker guy. Ran all the cyber terrorism for the syndicate back in Steelport. Now he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. Just so we can trust him like she does.
Hey, Kinsey, how am I supposed to rescue Matt without a weapon? Well, you don't have superpowers either. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why the fuck are there giant words in my face? It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. Ah, oh, hell, not again. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. <sighs> I just have to deal with it. <gasps> At least this ain't my first time at the top-down tank rodeo. Kenzie, you gonna fix this or what? I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. Finally. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. And I just blow this thing up, right? Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> Actually, twice. No three times. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. But what do you care if I try? <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. Lots of firepower here, Kinsey. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh. Touché. Yet again, I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh, look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time and all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death out, out brief candle life's but a walking shadow a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more it is a tale told by an idiot Full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. <laughs> what idiot said that? It's a quote from Macbeth. I never did like that play. You're coming up on Matt's prison. And how am I getting him out without any weapons or a key? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. You'll just have to wing it. Normally you yell at me when I wing it. Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. You just keep those reassurances coming. Kinsey, what's going on? Before you, I place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time, and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty, and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you would willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. What the hell is all this? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. The evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? Because you used a rocket in place of a bullet? Because you wouldn't submit to my rule? In the end, you only hurt those you are trying to protect. In the end, there is only one truth. The human race would be much safer without you. It. <sighs> I don't like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. 
Kinsey! Come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost, big deal. Or he got a little dead, who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship. a big deal out of nothing. This is a great opportunity for him to build character. Kinsey, this is not the time for a teachable moment. If we don't help Matt, he will die. Fine, take this. You're beautiful. Thanks. Us talking to the robot. It's power armor. Same thing? Not really. A robot is an automaton, whereas power... Don't ruin this, Keith. Ugh. That landing could have been softer. Are you breaking my power armor? No, and it's not your power armor. If you do damage the power armor, you can find some repair kits in some of the storage crates. I think I'm getting close. when the pods is broken. Any chance that's the one Matt was in? They didn't really label these things, Kinsey, but I hope so. I am awesome! Get away from me! I made it! Whoa, 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 Matt, relax. It's me. About time I was rescued. Oh, you wouldn't believe what they have. I didn't realize they had robots. See, this is a robot. Thank you. Kenzie was all, this is power armor, not... So, not a robot? I have the parts. Get to me and I'll set you up. This will be much different than any other weapon you're used to. Don't ever sell it. It's a gun, Matt. I got it. More than just a gun. All right, let's get to Kenzie. I don't want to sound needy or anything, but I just blew up a capital ship. You think someone could at least give me a high five? We need to take a look at this. A plane? Why would Zinyak want to build one of those? We're in deep space. It has to be another prison. Whose idea of hell is being trapped on an aeroplane? <laughs> me, Shandi, and... Oh, my God. Johnny's alive. Boss, Johnny's dead. Who else would be stuck in a plane? Shandi? It was a life-defining moment for her. It's the only thing that makes sense. You're wrong. I think she's making a lot of sense. She's wrong. Find out where this is. We're getting my best friend back. Okay, we have the location of the cargo plane prison, but... Kenzie, I don't want to hear it. Look, I'm just saying, don't get your hopes up. I know I'm right. This piece of shit... I'm surprised Zinyak went back to the well and hid this inside a broken shillelagh again. According to Matt's data, all of the submatrices are inside broken shillelaghs. It makes no sense. Zinyak's big on reuse. I'm coming, Johnny. It was on this plane where Shani and I lost our best friend. Johnny Gat helped found the Saints originally, and Shandi looked up to him ever since she joined. He sacrificed himself to save us. Now I want our friend back. Damn it, where's my powers? Your powers only work in your simulation. You're on your own. Fine. Well, I'm not letting that stop me. Come, John. Kenzie, the door won't open. I, I don't understand. Oh, is something the matter? Huh? Oh, fuck you. Poor Johnny is on the other side of that door. And you can't even muster the courage to open it. He's going to die. Alone. And none of his friends will even get to see the body to bury him. I let you 
down. I let us all down. We never should have ran. We should have stayed and fought, but we couldn't because... We couldn't because of me. And I know people say it's not my fault, but if the boss didn't have to protect me, you would be standing here right now. I'm so sorry, John. <laughs> It wasn't your fault. We left him to die. He didn't save our lives so we could feel sorry for ourselves. Yes, I hate to interrupt this touching moment, but we haven't even got to the best part of this plane ride. Oh, fuck me. Okay, Sonny. Oh, fuck. Kinsey, what happened to Shawnee? I, I don't know. It's like she's everywhere. I gotta find her. Oh, <laughs> this should be. Entertaining. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck's going on, Kenzie? I don't... Boss? Boss? Ah! Oh, God. Okay. That was different. <laughs> Nobody thinks these things. Of course they do. Everyone always carries me through Earth. Shandy, that's not true. Shandy? What the hell is going on here? Hey, get off me! Are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. Hold on, why are you in a nightclub? What happened to the plane? This is Shandy's nightmare, Kenzie. Trust me. This is where I'm supposed to be. Hey. You're not going anywhere. Use the stun- Let her go, veteran child. Like that's gonna happen. Will somebody tell me what's going on here? You can't! Thanks for the help. Anytime. Sh Shandy? That is not Shandy. Uh, actually, so Kenzie, yeah, this is. No, something's screwed up. Shandy doesn't act like this. She has like one emotion pissed. This girl needs a bowl fast. It's fine. Just move on. Not yet, my friend. I think veteran child deserves a second chance with our fair Jezebel. Maybe several chances. Maybe this time he'll stay dead. You're remarkably calm right now. Hey. Sometimes your exes try to kill you. What can you do, you know? You want a party? No, this isn't me. Shandy, you okay? This is getting weird. Get out. What's her problem? My problem? My problem is that I used to be you. This isn't a born-again thing, is it? No, she's future you. Makes sense. So, what happens to me? What do you mean? Look, Shandy, let's get out no, no, of- No, 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 I want to hear what I have to say to myself. What did you mean, what happens to me? Well, evidently, I've become a total frigid bitch, so I just wanted to know what's up. Oh, you mean I stopped sitting around smoking drugs from a broken light bulb all day? Guys, maybe we should- Yeah, you're lame now. You used to have fun. I used to be useless. What? The most memorable thing you ever did was get captured by your smoked out ex. That's not true. I'm sorry. And fucking half of Stillwater. Go team. I always thought you were just really friendly and hated pants. Someone gets it. I hate me. Let's get out of here. Kenzie, where's Pierce? Been working on that and I think I have the right cipher created. So what's the problem? Oh, nothing. Sid's just asking for new programs for delivering this to you. Well, give them to him and let's get Pierce. You haven't heard what the programs are. Ew. I've been researching your friend Pierce. Are you sure you wish to retrieve him? What kind of a question is that? An honest one. Historically, you spend nearly half your time ridiculing him. Yeah, but it's all in good fun. Making a man who risks his life for you and what you stand for the butt of your comedy routine is all in good fun? Yes? You're a terrible person. Can you give me the goddamn cipher? 
I'm saving his life, you know. You don't have to convince me. Just yourself. Drink up. We're talking about this later. face of the Saints, Pierce Washington was always comfortable in the public's eye. Some may think he's gone soft because of this, but he's always been loyal to the crew no matter what had to get done. Damn it! Get away from me! Pierce, hang on! I'm coming! Saints flow? What the fuck is going on here? Boss, am I glad to see you? Hold on. This is your greatest fear? Marketing gone bad? Bad? Our own IP is attacking us and you're making jokes? These things are trying to kill me! Or pour you a drink, ever think of that? <laughs> okay, let me stop and ask them if they're just trying to serve me a cold, refreshing drink. Lock and load. That can't be good. Oh shit, come on, we need more guns. Hey, wait, you took my line. And there's a reason for it. Now move! Load up over there. Uh, what the hell was that noise I heard? You don't want to know, but we'll need more guns. Here, Spotty, what's going on? There should be more by the bar, let's go! Look out! Here comes Paul! Paul? You named it Paul? Hey man, does it matter? Shoot the rockets at him already! Hi, Beats! Seriously? There's more ammo in the crate over there! Come pick me up, I'll be fine. This has really got a fucked up mind. Wait, is that it? Oh, I am never drinking a Saints Flow again! I think I know how you can beat Paul. Kenzie, the fuck have you been? How do you know its name? I've been trying to figure out how to make you large enough to fight that thing. What? Just get to the island with the big statue on it, okay? And get Paul's attention so he follows you. Where the hell is Pierce with that helicopter? Get in! Paul's not gonna stay down. Figured. Kenzie's got a plan, though. Kenzie does? You mind filling me in? She says we have to get to the statue. What for? Do you really think she told me? All I know is we have to get Paul to follow. To follow? She better have something big planned, then. You're so afraid of this stuff. Why were you the face of the Saints? Well, the money helped. And who said I was afraid of it? This is like when something you love is trying to kill you, and you just can't stop it. I dated. Uh. Exactly. What the fuck is this shit? What the fuck is this shit? Glad you like it. Man, this ladle does everything. A little ladle action. So, do I get to drive that thing next? Keep dreaming. That's right, Joe. Kick his aluminum ass. Oh, you don't like that, do you? Don't worry, Paul. I'll pour one out for you. Oh, that's right. Pop that top. Time to make a monument. Yeah, that's a good look. That's just kind of fucked up. You ready to get out of here? Yeah. Can't wait to get back to Earth. Right. Forgot to tell you. Earth got blown up. What? I have a lock on Benjamin King's simulation. Let's get my chief of staff back. I'll send the cipher to Sid. Meet him at the usual spot. What's going on? The president is about to enter Ben King's mind. So? Are you kidding me? The boss is going back to a time when they weren't in charge. When was the last time you saw that? I feel like this is an invasion of privacy. When did that ever stop your administration? We never invaded. Yes, yes we, we did. did. Jesus, what did we do? I'm committing treason if I tell you. I think treason only matters if you have a planet on which to be tried. That was bad timing. You get to be quiet now. Okay.
From leader of the Vice Kings to best-selling self-help book author to the president's chief of staff, there are few people who have done as much as Benjamin King. And I think I almost tried to kill him back in Stillwater before his own lieutenant staged their little coup. <laughs> Guess it worked out for him. Kenzie, am I? Back home in Stillwater? Yep. And look at this place. <laughs> It's just how I remember it. I expected the buildings to look a lot worse than this. Yeah, they've really improved over the years. Watches! I got watches here! Yo, hey man, this shit'll cost you $600 in the store! Oh, whatever, man. Watches! Yo, I got watches! Hey, baby. I could show you a good time. Hold on. Doesn't someone try to kill me soon? Shit! Ben! Oh, hell no! Man, fuck the rollers. The VAR, you're gonna let those bitches disrespect us? Shit, what you think? Whoops. He's going. Recognize that place? Of course I do. I was just a kid when I came back here. <laughs> Hell, I was too scared to talk back then. That must have been nice. Excuse me? I didn't say anything. Wait, Tanya? Oh, fuck, not you again! What the hell was she doing here? Damn, I remember all this. All these people. You know, I'm kind of shocked a freckle bitch has never opened in Steelport. Eh, then again, Councilman Phillips never did have a sense of humor. That's far enough. King, whoa, whoa, it's me. Remember, I'm the president and you're my chief of staff? Shit. Yeah, I remember now. What's going on here? My crew turned on me. Tanya and Big Tony pulled a coup and now they want my ass dead. I was hoping Julius and the Saints would help me out. Oh, shit. He's not around here, is he? No. I'm never able to find him. <laughs> no, no, no. Believe me, it's for the best. Now, let's get you out of here. Company's on its way! The time you think you bitches can take me out? Ugh. My name is Benjamin motherfucking That's why you get paid the big bucks. Didn't you kind of drop Tanya out of a window under your car years ago? Yeah, but that ain't what happens here. Every time I see her and Anthony, they end up putting a bullet in my head. Then I wake up and it's the same shit all over again. Oh! Oh! More coming in! We're sitting ducks in here. Take King and head back to the portal. I'll get you. Oh, hold on. We're not leaving yet. What? Why not? You have King, so just. How about you, Ben? You ready to leave yet? Hell no. I'm not going anywhere till Tanya and Tony are in the ground. We're staying, Kinsey. Come on, King. Let's go. Boss, are you sure about this? There's spikes kings all over that area. Ben, when did Tony and Tanya usually show up to kill you? Tanya's usually tried already. I think I scared her away earlier. Sorry. If we can hold out here, then Tony shouldn't be far behind the rest of the VKs. This feels just like old times, doesn't it, player? These were simpler times, King. Kenzie, can you see if Tony's on his way yet? I've been searching the simulation, and so far, no sign of either of them. They are gonna show up, right? Since King has been reliving this over and over again, it stands to reason that the parameters of the encounter should remain the same. I think that means yes. Glad you understand her. Do you want to make this go faster? Check in that empty grave. I dropped something for you. You are the best, Kinsey. Sounds like there's more going on around the other side. I'm gonna go check it out. All right, I'll keep doing what I can here. That's why I get paid the big bucks. <sighs> I'm just not having any luck finding the two of them. I... Oh, no. King went down on the other side. Hurry. Damn it. I'm coming, Ben! Ben, you all right? I'm fine. Thanks. No more splitting up. We stick together till we kill those assholes. Maybe I can find the programs for Tony and Tanya inside the simulation's code and force them to spawn. Or maybe you won't have to, girl. Look! That's Anthony! Let's kill his punk ass! It's okay. You cannot run us forever. I didn't let the crew kill me when you all took over, and I ain't letting you kill me now! 
You think the Saints can save you? After we threw the chip, that son of motherfucker is next. Who, me? You really don't know who you're fucking with anymore, Tony. Hey, I tried to warn him. Like Anthony ever listened. <laughs> Boss, you and King should head back down the street to where you came in. It looks like Tanya's on her way. Hold on. You're just thinking of this now? I've been ready ever since I got here. Though I'll give Tanya one more chance to give herself up. Meaning? Meaning put your weapons away and we'll see if she's willing to back down. Yo, look who it is. Well, well, Benjamin. Time for you to die with some dignity. So much for her giving up. Anthony's dead! The vice king's a fruit! <laughs> That's just precious. You think I need Tony to kill you and your sidekick here? What are you calling sidekick, lady? I don't think we can drop her out a window this time. Fine by me. I always wanted to put a bullet in this bitch. Just don't get any blood on you. She's got the half. No, I don't. You were never good enough to run the vice king's Benjamin. Doesn't anyone learn? What the hell happened to her? Honestly, I don't care right now. As long as she ain't killing my ass over and over again. The point. Let's clean up the rest and then get out of here. So what's the situation look like out there? It's bad. Why do I have a feeling that's a big understatement? You know me too well. We have a plan? Kind of. Kind of? We're getting the band back together, and then we're gonna kill Zinyak. That's not a plan. That's a goal. What, you got a better one? Kenzie, you listening? Yeah. I want to turn this whole simulation off. You think you can do that? With my help, she can. I don't need your help. Yes, you do. That's why you saved me first. You saved Matt before me? Brilliant computer hacker. Record mobile. Experience with virtual worlds. Experience with street games. My experience is empire building. Empire building? I'm sorry, who became fucking president of the United States? Who's the person that the fucking president of the United States asked to run their cabinet because they were way over their head? I was not in over my head. True or false? You called me at 3 in the morning asking me to run your election because you weren't polling for shit. There's some fine points you're glossing over there, buddy. You're right. You weren't asking me. You were begging me. Are you two finished yet? Keith? Have you been watching the whole time? Yeah. And I'm just throwing this out there. I think there's only a passing similarity between me and Julius. Whatever, you're like the same person. How many of you guys are listening in on us? All of us? Let's not fight in front of the kids. Do you seriously have a plan? I do. Work it out with Kinsey and Matt and fill me in when we can execute. You got it. All right, I'm killing your connection, Benjamin. We'll see you soon. Hey, King. You really hate that you end up in second place, don't you? Yeah. You tracked down Asha? I have, but it wasn't easy. Her mind is so incredibly guarded, it was difficult to trace her neural signature. Stubborn and defensive? Sounds like Asha, all right. I'll set everything up. See me when you're ready. I didn't know much about Asha Odakar before she helped to save the entire damn country, but in the years since, I've come to know her as one of the best soldiers I've ever met. If I'm gonna take down Zinyak, I want her in my crew. I just think you're really building this up. And I think you're drastically underestimating how dangerous the mind of a super spy can be. <laughs> super spy? Jesus, man, I get that you want to fuck her, but you don't have to build her a pedestal. That is beside the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch you later, man. I get it. This is beginning to be my personal hell, too. Kinsey? What am I wearing? You should see what your face looks like. Why? What did you do to my face? Matt told me some very specific concerns that she has about you. The fuck are you talking about? Where is he? Last chance. Fuck you, slut. 
You're like Johnny Gat with better hair. I'm nothing like Johnny Gat. Fair, Gat was never self-righteous. Don't you dare confuse duty with self-righteousness. Yeah, because those two never fucking overlap. Says the President of the United States. You say the title like it's a dirty word. It is when the role is filled by a psychopath. Puckish Rose! <laughs> going on here? Who are you looking for? Your evil twin. What? Hold up. An evil twin? Yeah, I thought it was better than saying I've been sent to kill evil you. All right, so what tip the scales? Best intelligence shows codename Mr. X is preparing a full assault against their own nation. I've been tasked with making sure they don't succeed. Ooh, sounds serious. Of course, dear. Of course, We have dear. to work our way into the heart of the compound. Why would evil me hire such idiots? I'll uh -huh. refrain from commentary. Hey, the Saints are my crew. I take a bullet for any one of them. Loyalty is certainly one of your strongest characteristics. Once it's in uh -huh. view, shoot out the light. Enemy light. Well done. Well... Looks like that's it. I was just starting to warm up to your way of doing things, too. Really? No. So, can we talk about why it is you have to kill me again? Uh, you'll find out soon enough. Can't even give me a hint? Think of your worst asset. Multiplied by a thousand. Sounds awesome. Yasha, is that... a person? The facility is just ahead. What kind of facility is this, exactly? You'll see. Look, I know secrecy is MI6's thing, but I've had it at- Hold up. Guards. So an evil version of me is your worst nightmare? Uh, how do you mean? Well, I mean, according to Kinsey, every person's simulation is based on their deepest, darkest fears. Okay. You fear me being in power more than anything else? Oh, the extent of your ego is certainly terrifying at times. Oh, nice. Nice, Sasha. Real nice. Stay on guard. Mr. X could be hiding anywhere. Ah, sure. I thought you knew me better than that. Why would I hide when I can kill your friends in front of you? Say hello, Matt. Asha, I... Good talk. Wow, you're cold. Johnny cried like a little bitch when his girlfriend got killed. I'm not gonna give you this satisfaction. Ooh, I love it when you talk tough. Then you're gonna fucking love me, you piece of shit. You. See you soon. Asha, about Matt. I'm not sure what this whole thing is, but I know it isn't real. While I don't relish the idea of seeing someone I care about being murdered over and over again, I also don't see a purpose to needless blubbering. Hey, I was just... Focus on the job. Look who's here. My favorite wannabe spy and her BFF. I admit I was surprised to see you in here, other me. But then I realized Asha would never be able to do this without some help. I'm looking for a hard fight. A whole lot of mad wants to speak with me. Hey, Asha! How are you doing, love? Care for some tea and crumpets? Fancy a star? Yeah, not gonna lie. Still not sure how to take the fact evil me is your version of hell. This isn't about you, believe it or not. Come on, you're fighting an evil me. That's what you're taking from this, your starring role. Well... I keep failing. Over and over, I keep failing at my job. It doesn't matter if it's evil you or a 50-foot soda can. When the fate of the world rests on your shoulders, you can't afford failure. And that, that is my hell. Oh. So, should I be concerned with how detached you are about all this? I've been through this scenario dozens of times. Emotional disconnection is the true weapon of the soldier. View everything from the eyes of God. Wow. Way to balance inspirational speech and a totally creepy cult leader, Ashen. Well, well, well. You finally managed not to fuck the whole thing up. I suppose I should congratulate you before I put a bullet in your head. 
Stop the chit chat. Let's get to the us kicking your ass. Thousand times already? Finally, you decide to bring in help, but who do you choose? My lesser half. That sociopath has never cared about anyone else in their entire life. That so called puckish rogue didn't even shed a tear when their best friend's girl was beheaded right in front of them. Is that what you think? <laughs> Keep on killing as much of this cannon fodder as you want. Neither of you have ever cared much about human life, so why start now? You're both failures. <laughs> An MI6 agent trying to amend for making one mistake after another. And an aimless sociopath that poisons everything they touch. You can leave those things, just keep fighting! Whoa! Well, we killed me. Yeah, we did. You smoke? I do now. Evil me was kind of an asshole. Good you is kind of an asshole. Blame my parents. Daddy issues? Nah, just... <laughs> forget it. Oh, don't like talking about your past. Don't see the point. Who cares what I did before I joined the Saints? Aren't you going to ask me about mine? I thought we were killing evil clones, not picking out place settings. <laughs> eh, we should probably get out of here. Once more for old time's sake? Yeah, why not? It seems in retaliation for your pissing all over his nice clean prison, Zinyak is flooding the simulation with hostile gangs from another simulation. I can handle whatever that asshole throws at me. The big problem is that I can't tell how they're getting in. I'll need you to investigate this when you have a moment. Where are all these old gang members coming from? Zinyak must be pulling data from somewhere. As with all the simulations, these manifest from the subconsciouses of the captives hooked into the machines. So whose subconscious are we dealing with? Shanti says the mnemonic mapping fits the profile of Johnny. See? I told you Johnny was alive. I need to look into this, but I'll, I'll be in touch. Let us go. I am earning this date. These relays have shields, Kinsey. Sid, can you take them down? For the hand of a loving partner, I would do almost anything. I'm not going on a date with you, Sid. Hmm. I suppose Asha is also a pairing option. Are we still talking about this date nonsense? It is not nonsense. I am not doing this solely for your benefit, you know. <laughs> Ensuring my safety learn? would be advantageous to us both. Kenzie, let's go back to talking about John. My best guess is that he's here, too. You can trace all these gangs back to him, right? You can find his simulation? Um, sure. I'll just focus on those relays. This is the last relay I have found. After careful consideration, I am firm in my intent to court Shandy. Court Shandy, huh? <laughs> Good luck. I do not need luck. I am quite charming. And this shell offers a variety of options when it comes to... Yeah, how are you gonna... See, this is... Oh, okay, I'm, I'm curious, but no. This is not the time for that discussion. You need to throw me into the generator. Same as before. Just throw me into the shield Whoa. generator. Cover me. Where do the Vice Kings have giant robots? The Zin appear to have quite a few technologically advanced forms. I am curious why it is you chose a metal basketball for my shell. Oh, it's cute. I have personality. I do not need to be cute. I could use weapons, though. What, and have you still all my kills? Yes! Take that, tank ball! Well done. If you throw me into the generator again, I will continue hacking the shield on the relay. If you hurry, you will still be young when you throw me into the generator. Just a bit longer. What's next, Kinsey? Now that the relays aren't confusing the signal, I 
can see the source of the influx. Sid will take you to it. Follow me. Kinsey, where are we on finding Gad? It's not been easy. He's being kept off the grid. It's weird. Almost like he's under extra security or something. Can you get me in? Of course I can. Get back to the ship. Feels weird not being in a shitty sports bar. We could always name the ship the Broken Shillelagh. Not funny. Kinsey, relax. Doing my best. Look, if you're worried about me going brain dead, I figure it's part of the deal. You have to say something. What aren't you telling me? Thanks, Matt. Kinsey. It's not you she's worried about. It's everyone else. Oh, this is gonna get real exciting. It doesn't matter. I have a feeling we're about to disagree. Saving Gat is a terrible idea. Don't answer to you, honey. <laughs> Bitch, you lucky we're standing in front of Keith David or Stop I... it! He's right, okay? It's a terrible idea. In order to save Johnny, we have to tap directly from our ship into his mind, and that means Zinyak's going to know exactly where we are. You're asking Matt and I to paint a target on humanity's last chance so that you can go rescue someone we've never even met. And what's even stupider is that we're going along with it. That guy you just beat the shit out of is risking everything to save your friend. And you want to know why? Because we can't save ours anymore. Oleg is dead. Viola is dead. Earth is dead. So how about you stop being a fucking asshole and say thank you for giving us the hope you'll never have? I'm sorry. Yeah, well... You could have killed me back in Steelport, but you let me go. I can forgive a few punches. Okay, then. Get in the chair. Hey, boss. What do you think Gat's mind is like? No idea. But if I had to bet, I'd say either a shooting gallery or a freckle bitches. Johnny Gat is the oldest friend I have and the baddest motherfucker I know. I mourned him once when I thought Philippe Loren had taken him out. Now that I know he's alive, I'd walk through hell to bring him back. Aisha, behind you! Johnny! Help! Ooh! Ha 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 ha! Ow! Johnny! Help! Uh, you want her? Come get her! Stage one, fight. Holy shit! Johnny! It's... It's really you! Warren Williams took Aisha. We have to get to Vikings HQ and get her back. Man. Stillwater. I don't remember it looking so... Flat? I can't believe you're still alive, Johnny. Shondi and I were... Come on! Vice King HQ is this way! Where do you think you're going? Where's Warren Williams? I'm here for Aisha. Get the fuck out of my way! I don't think so. <laughs> I'm bad. Stage one, complete. Stage two, fight. We're inside Kingdom Come Records. Warren Williams is straight ahead. Let's go. Johnny, this isn't real. Aisha's dead. You can't bring her back. Shut the fuck up. I know she's in here. We just have to get to the main office. Come on. Stage three, fight! We're almost there, damn it! Look at all these fucking rodents! Let's take them out! I'm telling you, man, it's too late. You gotta snap out of this, Johnny. You are really starting to piss me off. Now come on, we don't have much time. I use this house! We're here! Don't go in there, Johnny! You home? Johnny! It is a... trap! He's... No!
Ken D, can you reset part of the simulation? Theoretically, each simulation is an isolated instance. Yeah! Great! Do it then! One second, and... Here we go. Cat! Hold up! Hey, you... What it was full more Johnny! You made it! You with me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. Hold on, we're coming to get you. Whoa, whoa. we? Who's we? This thing. His journey finally over. Johnny Gat was once again able to hold Aisha in his arms. But the reunion was soon over, as the street tough remembered the tragedy that claimed his love so many years ago. Thanks for playing. Were you right? No, side scroller beat him up. Nice. I'm coming, Johnny. Kenzie, I need that robot up and running. It's really more like power armor. Not now, Keith. <laughs> GPS on this thing? How do I find Gat? First, do you remember how to use this suit? Two way rem That's not really an answer. You know what? Don't worry about it. I'll find John. Keep an eye out for more Zid. They're on the offensive now. They weren't on the offensive before? But then yes, not dumb. I doubt we've made a single move so far without him knowing about it. I don't think we would have made it this far if Zinyak didn't think he could handle us. Thanks for the pep talk, Kenzie. Shit, the door's locked. Hold on. Never mind. He must have it down, didn't you? Worked before. I see no reason to switch it up now. The pot's empty. Same as the others. Do you think he'll be okay? Johnny can handle himself. Hell, Matt Miller can survive. I, I'll have you know... Ow! Casey, why did you... Just grab Johnny and bring him back, okay? All soldiers on high alert. Special Prisoner 31 has escaped and is moving through the base. This is a kill order. Repeat. Kill order! On the roof? Okay, let me try to find a way to... I see a trail of dead aliens, Kinsey. I think I know which way Johnny went. Looks like you're headed pretty deep into the base. Where are you at? Another one of those red spinny rooms. I still can't get over how many people there must be in those. I know what you mean. I've seen countless tunnels full of those things. That's a lot of fucking people, Kinsey. And if we take down the Zinyak and the rest of the Zin Empire? I'll be safe. Right on. Not that I don't have a home to go back to or anything. You're second there, Kenzie. You were almost an optimist. Immediate backup to processing tunnel 16. I'm very disappointed in you all. Surely the Seems might have been in there twice in his shorts. You're good, Overlord. Mm -hmm. That's something we think they're good at. Special prisoner number two has been isolated. All soldiers to processing chamber nine now. The job is wrong. Shit, where's processing chamber nine? Just because I can see the layout of the ship doesn't mean I know what the rooms are called. I... Fuck, I don't know where I'm at. Shit, something on the door chase. What's that mean? Let me see. Ow. Oh, looks like they activated a force field. Trying to stop me, huh, Zinyak? It's probably to contain Johnny. Give me a minute to figure something out. Fuck that, I'm destroying everything in this goddamn room. Oh. Yeah, do that. Draw their attention. Kinsey, damn it, I... Oh, okay, good. Here I come, Johnny.
Shiny, what the hell happened? So I'm in the plane doing my thing. Reputation doesn't do you justice. Earth's most passant warrior? That's what he called me. You're telling me he abducted you years before his invasion because he thought you single-handedly could stop him? Yeah. That's so fucking awesome. You realize that means Zinyak's more afraid of him than you, right? Shit. Johnny, go back to the part about the meat shield. Guys, don't take this the wrong way. But I've spent years living in the past. I'm ready for the future. Good. Because if we're going to pull off King's plan, we're going to need all the help we can get. I'm not late to the briefing, am I? We haven't started yet. I'm waiting on Miller. I still feel bad about punching Matt in the face. He'll get over it. Or he'll kill me in my sleep. That's always a possibility, too. Got what we got, guys. Can we just get to murdering already? We got a problem. Now we're talking. What's up? The Zin are coming. Here? That's probably why he said it's a problem. All right, let's take cover. We should be able to ambush them. Not so sure about that. Watch out! They're using some sort of suppression grenade. They're probably trying to counteract your powers. Why does everyone keep taking away my superpowers? Where the hell did they find us? I don't know. Who cares? Let's just kill them. Hey, we gotta go. There's too many of them. There's a helicopter on a nearby roof. We can use it to get everyone to safety. Everybody follow me. Matt and I will head out on our own. We what? Take care of your people. We'll catch up. Fine. Whoa, why are we running? I'm down for some murder. Ben says he has a plan. We need to lose this heat and then... Whatever the plan was, it went out the fucking window. We need to focus on surviving. Hurry inside! and Ben are getting into that car. Let's cover them. On it. The old East End have some high-tech shit. What's their arsenal like? Oh, the Zen have all kinds of cool stuff. I wish I could get into their armory and see what they're prototyping. They even have murder bots. Murder bots? Now that's my kind of household appliance. The Zen are flying in! <laughs> Everybody, hold on! Everyone okay? We walked away, right? Oh, look, a cat. Is this a pet store? A cat? Fuck, of all the buildings in Steelport we crash on Genkies? Seriously? So where to? I don't like getting involved in these things, but this is really exciting. Kenzie, focus. What do we do now? Ben's plan was to overload the simulation. We can still do that, but not if the Zin know our every move. But you can make sure they don't, right? Yes, but I need to get back to the ship so I can find a way to cut them off. Once that's done, it's just a matter of finding the weakest point in the simulation. Get us to a safe spot so we can get back to the real world. Don't worry. Hey, player. Chris and I are pulling out of the simulation. Meet you back on the ship. Where's that static coming from? And how did the Zen find us? I thought your hideout was safe, Kins. You alien fuck! No! Boss, you need to get back to the ship. Now! 
Bondi, what the fuck are you doing? They got Kinsey. Boss, the dinner here. What? We were set up. I got out of the simulation. Pierce and King were out cold. The proximity alarm is screaming, and Asha Miller and the vice president are gone. They kidnapped Keith David? And left us sleeping so we get picked up by Zinya. Too bad for them we're awake. What's the plan? You and Gaz secure the doors while I check on Kinsey. We'll get you back, Kinsey. Just hang on. You ready? Because we got visitors. Shit, are we driving into the sun? You gotta check the monitors. No need. I have already analyzed our situation. Shit, I forgot Mr. Deix Ex Machina was even on the ship. A Zin transport has attached itself and is dragging us toward what I assume is certain doom. So, what can we do about it? If I were you, I would deal with the strange heat signature by the cargo bay first. Cargo bay? Fuck! Let's go! We got bombs over here. Bombs? Yeah. And they're set to blow. You thinking what I'm thinking? Shandy, go back to Kenzie and the rest. Gat, let's go blow up a spaceship. You got a specific thing you want to blow up, but just shit in general. Kenzie, what's the weakest point in the Zen ship? Yo, boss, Kenzie's... Fuck, I... Look, we'll just find the biggest, glowingest thing on the ship and stick the bombs to that. These Zen sure do make a good argument for murdering them. Oh, they're nothing compared to their leader. I am gonna enjoy every second of tearing Zinyak apart. Take your time, huh? That sounds like a plan. I get the chance? I'm gonna rip Zinyak's goddamn head off. Yo, where do you think the Zin have Kinsey? I don't know, but when I find Matt and Asha, I'm gonna beat that information out of him. Large red cylinder, huh? Big and glowy. Looks perfect. This looks important. Let's blow it up. What was that? Yo, these bombs are hotter than we thought. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yo, quit fucking around and get in here. <clears throat> You to Zinyak. Let's get out of here and find Kenzie. God damn it! What happened? MI6 fucked us. I knew it! Asha had it out for me since jump! She talked shit in Pakistan, she sucker punched me. I can't in. believe Miller had me fooled. To think I actually apologized. He's probably been working this angle for a while. Hell, he might have even been the one who tipped off Zinyak about Johnny. Doubt it. Dante said that the lowest circle of hell was reserved for betrayers. But it's important to remember that it's the storyteller who decides who the hero is, not morality. But while philosophers will spend years debating the ethics of the Kinsey Gambit, the Saints had a less charitable view. Keith David is a dead man. <laughs> If it's not too much trouble, I need to better familiarize myself with how the simulation works. I figure if I watch the changes to the code take place when you do a few different tasks for me, I should get a stronger grasp on the workings of Zen programming. Fine, but I better get something out of this. firsthand what this war with the Zen has cost us. How many more need to die before we realize that the time has come for us to put aside our pride and focus not on division, but unity? Does Zinyak have a strong personality? Absolutely. But then again, so did the previous president. And you know what? When I look at the two of them, I see more similarities than differences. Both have proven leadership experience. Both maintain their composure in high-pressure situations. Both have a love of Jane Austen. But most importantly, both of them will not stop until they get what they want. For this war to end, we need to stop rattling sabers and realize that victory doesn't come from annihilating an enemy, but by making an enemy your friend. 
All of us are heroes in our own stories. The time has come for us to grow up and have perspective. Earth will have its salvation, but it will come on the back of humility, not violence. Cute speech. Where's the part where you talk about selling out humanity? Humanity? Does that mean the nine of us? Earth is gone because you provoked a madman. I trusted you, Keith. And I trusted you. The country trusted you. And look where that led us. So what, you're putting your faith in Zinyak? Giving up your free will to be ruler of some bullshit daydream? You don't get it. Zinyak said he can restore Earth. All I have to do is kill you. He's lying to you. Maybe, but there's billions of lives at stake. If he's telling the truth, what's one life for the greater good? You sound just like Julius. He was right. I know where they're keeping Kinsey. Keith. We had a deal, my friend. Now what am I supposed to do with a naughty little boy like you? Ah. Enjoy your requiem, Mr. Pig. <laughs> Hell am I? Matt, you there? Matt? Matt? Oh shit. You gotta snap out of it! Snap out of it! Ah! Look, you crazy mother! Stay away from me! Keith, you know better! I'm telling you, you dumb son of a bitch! I'm trying to save your life! You couldn't even save your own! Keith, listen to me! I'm giving you a choice! Get away from me! Let him go! They have him bad. Hey, I'm Roddy. Roddy Piper. Hey, I'm the President of the United States. Sure. Why not? Well, Prez, we got visitors. Keith sold out someone very important to me. Whatever trance he's in, I need him snapped out of it. He's going crazy. He thinks we're all out to kill him. Anything happens to Kinsey, and I will be. What is this place? A television broadcasting tower. What the hell's he gonna do with the broadcast tower? He's a crazy man with a microphone. What do you think he's gonna do? Ladies and gentlemen of America, the threat is right in front of us. An alien presence has taken over your friends and family. It's everyone you know, everyone you see. Nobody can be trusted. You got it all wrong, Keith. Zinyak's in your head. He's got you all confused. Keith, listen to me. The Zinyak guy is bad fucking news. You! I told you to get away! Get the fuck away from me! You're not gonna kill me, motherfuckers! Shit! After him! That's why I get paid the big bucks. He's headed for the roof! Soon! The whole world will know the truth! The satellite's what's controlling Keith. You take care of it, I'll handle him. I'll take out the CIDs! The what? Never mind, I got this! Ugh. 
Satellite's down. Did it work? No, the brainwashing is too ingrained. I'll have to beat it out of them. If you want to know where your friend is, now's the time to ask. Where is Kenzie, Keith? Where did Zinyak put Kenzie? Tell me, Keith! She's... She's... She's in... Keith, I think you got some unresolved issues. You don't know what happened, the kid. Now come on, we've got to save Kinsey. I wish we could call Roddy for help. No one calls Roddy for help. He shows up where he's needed most. Let's go. The information I got from Keith was a code of some kind. Apparently, he overheard Zinyak telling one of his subordinates a series of numbers somehow connected to Kinsey's location. I bet these digits line up with some proprietary coordination system used by the simulation, but I don't have access to that. We need someone who's able to plug directly into the simulation. Send the data to Sid. We'll take it from there. Data received. Hmm. Very interesting. It seems... Ah! Oh, shit! What's happening? I don't know. I... 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 Oh, here I go! Uh, Matt, I'm... following Sid. I'm going to hack the code to find out where Sid is going. Don't touch anything! I know Kinsey had a thing for bunnies. If I had to guess, it looks like this sigil is connected to some sort of secret room. Secret room? Clever girl. Time to see what's in it. Right place? Absolutely. What the fuck is all this? A map of the simulation. Where are all the broken shillelaghs? If it would make the map more understandable to you, I could create a holocaust. God, no, we're good. So can you find Kinsey? In theory, yes. The time-consuming part will be identifying Kinsey's brainwaves in a sea of other data. Find whatever looks the most abnormal. It's probably her. Insulting, yet accurate. Good luck. And this place, f me. Kenzie, great, come on, let's get out of here. If you want to speak with my husband, he'll be home this afternoon. Enzi? Say, I'm afraid I don't have much of a green thumb. Oh, can you help me get this bulb to sit right? No, Kenzie, I can't. What? What are you doing? Hurry! I'm being held captive by... Kenzie? What just happened to Kinsey? Ooh, that must have been a decoy. That's smart. See if there are any more around. I really hope this is the real you. Golly! That bump sure was a doozy, wasn't it? Get to City Hall. Hurry! Okay. Do you remember Cyrus Temple? Oh, the thug who launched a nuclear missile to take out America because he's a big baby that hates losing? Yeah, name rings a bell. He's... in charge here. Are you serious? Should he be dead? Not in Kinsey's mind, no. Oh, wow, well, well, there he is. Hey, why is he so much younger and... Not in uniform. Cyrus says Kinsey. Matt, give me a gun. I can't! God it, Matt, give me something! He has speaker boxes all over town. If you really want to shut him up, you'll have to take them all out. I will continue this town's tradition of quiet, peaceful reflection and strict obedience. I will enforce the rules that make our society the well-oiled machine it needs to be. Here we go. In order for us to all... Our world is too precious for us to confuse the natural order. Matt, man, come on. You gotta give me some kind of weapon. I'm telling you, this simulation is locked. Oh, oh. Wait a minute. Excited, Matt. This can't be good. I've left you something in a weapons crate. Women of the support. It is their duty to 
a music gun? Seriously, Matt. I told you, no weapons allowed. But the power of music can overcome all obstacles. Fuck it, I'm in. Music gun it is. We fuck your fucking cock in the ass. Big business. All the murder simulators. Okay, that's it. Matt, I'm headed back to Cyrus. Time for the second part of this plan. Which is... Trust me, you'll like it. What the Sam Hill? Hey, I thought this was a party! Let's dance! That's it. This ends now, you hoodlum. You wanna dance? You don't live to that. Dance with me. Hey, I've got a new track for you to try. A new track? I'm uploading it now. Give it a shot. Oh, check you out, DJ Miller. Finyak oh. doesn't have a chance. Kenzie, let's get the fuck out of here. Hey, you swore! Kenzie, you're okay. You don't tell anyone what you saw. Do you understand me? Kenzie, it really wasn't all that... I said anyone. Hey, you got it. Just saying it was a cute poodle skirt. It's been a hell of a ride, hasn't it? That is an understatement. You've changed so much. We both have. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, whatever happened with that guy who won your dating show? Puerto Rican Thunder God? He was sweet and all, but performance didn't live up to the name. Look, I gotta tell you something. It always drove me crazy that you had exes in every city and were willing to go on a dating show, but not once did you ever give me a shot. You never asked for one. I'm asking now. Then let's make up for lost time. Ben King's a genius. We managed to figure out how we can overload the simulation completely. When did you two figure this out? Just before I was kidnapped. Probably why Zinyak went after me, actually. So how do we do this? If I can hack directly into the main system, then I can bring down the walls between simulations and force Zinyak to divert an enormous amount of resources to keeping it from crashing altogether. Don't we want it to crash? Oh, it will. He won't be able to stop it. But for now, what I need from you is parts. For a key. A key? Keys don't have parts. <sighs> Not that kind of key. Anyway, Gat will be there to help you. Remember, this is important. The main parts we'll need to assemble the key are the central processing unit, memory modules, and gravity inhibitors. I've located a CPU at the old Steelport Guard Armory. While you get that, I'll look around for the other stuff. You know what this thing we're going after looks like? Uh, some computer tech thing. How should I know? It's a central processing unit. It's for... You know what? I'll point it out when you get close. Jeez. Works for me. All right, Kenzie, we're here. Now, where is this unit thingy? In one of the crates around the armory. They're welded shut, though, so use your telekinesis to pull the doors off. I thought you knew where it was. I do. In one of the crates around the armory. Okay, okay, no need to get touchy. Believe me, Johnny, you'll get used to it. There it is. Just be careful with it, all right? It'll be fine. Next, head to the nearby tower. That's where the memory modules are. Right on. I'll grab one of these assault choppers and meet you there, boss. Just don't kill everyone before I get a few shots in. Hey, you know I can't control myself sometimes. <sighs> I think I made it. Good. They've abandoned powering up the shield. Just destroy those generators and you should find the gravity inhibitors. Hold on. If these generators have gravity inhibitors, then A, why aren't they floating? And B, why the hell did I get these from the last generators? They look exactly the same. Because obviously the last generators didn't have them since they were on floating platforms. Fine. And the not floating part? Because they're not turned on? She doesn't know, does she? Nope. Okay, we're done here. Let's... Yo, dog, this shit's on fire. I have to set it down somewhere. Shit, can you find a safe place to take it down? It's barely responding, but yeah, I think I can. I'll keep up with you, Johnny. Kinsey, keep your eyes on us. Right. Damn it, I'm not gonna make it. This thing's going down. Just hang in there, cat. Hold on. I'm sending in Shani to pick you guys up. 
Johnny. Johnny, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, thank God. Seems like I picked a hell of a spot to crash, though. Boss? Johnny? You there? We're still kicking. I'm only a few seconds out. Don't worry, I am not letting anything happen to Johnny. Uh, to you two. Eh, it's not that we can handle it. Shandy gets there, make sure the area is clear so she can land. Already working on it. Is all clear. All right, land in this thing. Let's get out of here. How's the key? Barely built. So without power, it's really just a glorified paperweight. So plug it in. Let's put it to use. If it was that simple, don't you think I would have done that? Um, no. Uh, we need compatible power sources to make it work. I'm sending Sid in there to help you with that. Try to be nice to him. I have found a compatible power source for the key. Predictably, it is controlled by the Zin. Interference from these cells make it impossible for me to pinpoint the exact locations, but I should be able to determine the general areas of the three we need. Sid, where are we headed? I have marked the general location for the first power cell, though I am surprised Kinsey also sent along fake Shandy to help us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fake Shandy? Kinsey explained to me that Shandy had a doppelganger who hated pants and was very friendly. Yeah, that's me. But fake? I'm standing right here. Do not shoot the messenger. Frankly, you sound more fun than the other Shandy. And I love your hair. Oh, thanks. Sensors detect a cell is in this area. The closer we get to it, the more precise I can be. Whoa, this thing's pretty handy to have around. You have no idea. I have many uses. You don't double as a bomb, do you? For you, I would find a way. Good, only a few guards. Easy enough. What are you doing? What? You know you just jinxed us, right? What, by saying easy enough? Jesus, you said it again. Shanti, what are you, 12? It is Chekhov's gun. Saying it is too easy now means something must go wrong later, or else there was no point to this conversation. Well, shit. Yeah. Well, that's one. Let me know when we're close to the next cell. If you do something for me, Really, Sid? You're asking for something right now? I require a date with this, Shondi. Excuse me? Okay. Excuse me? What? Could be fun. So, what are you two gonna do on this date? Way to change the subject and dodge responsibility for those shield generators. No, I genuinely want to know. I know a great little pizza place in town. I love pizza. Perhaps a movie afterwards as well. What's playing? Pride and Prejudice. Sounds a little serious, but I'll give it a whirl. We are nearing the final power cell. Thank God. Let's get this thing and go. Feeling guilty? Enjoying yourself? Oh, yeah. The cell is not far. Looks like Sid was right. They've got another generator up and running. What? No rubbing this in? No. Nope. Really? We already knew that these would be here. I don't see much of a point. All right, then. Do you mind? Still not helping shut those down. Sid? I am with Shandi on this one. Do it yourself. Of course you are. blew up. Okay, now I'm rubbing it in. Shit, Kinsey's gonna be pissed. But there is one more cell not far from here. Hold on. You said that was the final one. If we had obtained it, then it obviously would have been. You okay, boss? I'm not saying another word. Come on, don't be such a sourpuss. No, I'm not gonna make this go any worse. Have it your way. This place is lit up like a Feed Dogs concert. Sid, why is everything a target? Because you are cursed. Where's the battery? Integrated into the tank, I believe. 
the properties of the power cell should increase the speed, destruction, and durability of the vehicle. Fuck right, time for a little armored destruction. However, the increase in power will also overload the tank and cause it to explode in a few minutes. Uh, what? If you can get to Kinsey's warehouse in time, she can set up a field which will stabilize the energy output. At least there's a bright side, right? So I drive into that field, I don't blow the hell up? Correct. Good luck. You will need it. Shondi, there is a hookah bar not far from here. Care to join me before I return to the ship? Well, catch you later, boss. Have fun. You better hope I don't explode! <laughs> like that's gonna stop me. Are you having fun down there? In between my moments of dear God, dear God, don't let this thing blow me up, yes, I am. Don't worry. Sid contacted me and I set up the stabilization field. Get the tank back in one piece and you'll be fine. Seems strangely calm about this whole thing, Kinsey. I expected you to be on my case about how without these your key won't work and I better not screw this up, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I have that speech all prepared. Figured I'd give you a little more time before I started it. You're so kind. I know. There! You have your power cells. Told you I'd make it. Oh, good. I know over the years you've heard this speech a bunch of times. Heard it? Bitch, I wrote it. But we need to remember why we do what we do. And today the stakes are even higher. Earth is gone. It's not coming back and nothing we do today is gonna change that. But one thing we can do is get revenge. And you better believe we're showing this motherfucker humanity isn't dead because we're still alive. This isn't about hope or faith or even about winning. Kenzie's right. Those things died on Earth. This is about will. This is about saying, I don't give a shit how many times you knock me down. If I'm still breathing, I'm standing right back up. And you know what? You can hit as hard as you want, because when I hit back, I'm going to lay your ass out, bitch. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. All right, player, this is it. We're taking the key to the old Syndicate Tower. There's an entrance into the system in the loading dock. Gat and I will drive the key there while you get our backs. Once inside, get the key into the main hub. That should cause a chain reaction that destabilizes the simulation. The key's loaded up. Climb on and make sure it doesn't get destroyed. Standard escort, I got it. Only if this fails, we could all die. Jeez, you're a real downer sometimes. I'm serious. If we screw this up, we won't get another shot at bringing down the simulation, we won't create an opening into the Zen mothership, and we won't be able to locate and go after Zinyak himself. Right, I understand. Don't worry, this is gonna work, Kinsey. As long as the key doesn't get destroyed, like I said. It won't get destroyed, I promise. It isn't exciting enough for you up here with me? The, the boss is getting to blow shit up while my biggest problem is avoiding bad robots. No, you're saving us from getting killed by Kinsey for damaging this key thing. Oh, come on. What would Kinsey do? I'll plug you while you sit here jacking the simulation for ruining our only hope of stopping Zinyak. You would. Yes, you would. Just a little farther to the tower. Oh, I'm sorry, but this highway wasn't clear for heavy loads. <laughs> What the hell? What the hell? Kinsey, what now? You're going to have to use your telekinesis to get the key there. Don't worry, we're with you. How much longer, Sid? Please do not rush me, unless you would like the field to overload and electrocute you all. You mean us all? Only all of you would end up dead if it overloaded. I already shielded my exterior from the field's frequency before I began my hack. Hence, why it has taken me this long. Can I kill this floating piece of Zin scrap later? Sid, let's get it done. The shield is now down. All right, let's move. You guys gonna be all right? You just get the key in there, boss. We'll handle these assholes. Cut off from communication, so listen to Sid. He'll know what to do. Right, we'll see how that works out. Get in there, Sid! To watch this simulation destroyed, I, I will harness the system's energy to fuel the power cells on the key. Yeah, you do that. Any day now, Sid. Get that thing moving. The energy flow is being regulated. Opening breakers should increase the power. Nobody's a fucking catch. 
What's with there always being three things to destroy or turn on or whatever? Three is the optimal number for powering many different systems in Zinyak's simulations. It's not really an answer. Then would you believe it is actually just an arbitrary number that sounded good at the time to the system creator? Now that I believe. The server is protected by a force field. Let me guess. Destroy more things to shut it down. Correct. This would be a lot harder if Zinyak put force fields around his power generators. I do not understand. You know, if they generated a shield around themselves. Now you are just talking crazy. I am coming for you, Zinyak. Today, your simulations come to an end. And only I will remain. Uh, excuse me. You mean we? Do not ruin this moment for me. Uh, <laughs> should probably get out of here, right? That would be a good idea. Remember, Steelport's breaking down inside the simulation right now. Whoever you take with, I should be able to open portals into their personal nightmares. But don't worry, whatever comes through will be on your side. Matt and I will be sure to have your back. It's going to look a little weird in there. Just remember, that's normal. Was that supposed to be reassuring? What's gonna happen when this whole place crashes? Not sure. The data may get corrupted or it may simply reset. Either way, it should overload some of the Zin shift systems directly. We need to be damn sure this will give us a tactical advantage, Kinsey. Well, it's certainly going to mess with the Zin enough to give us our shot at taking out Zinyak. Of that, I'm 99% positive. What about the other 1%? Just covering my bases in case something goes wrong. Looks like the Zen know their weak spots, Kenzie. They're all over the area. Then do what you guys do best. Miller, cover my rear! Right, I'm on it! They're sending out saucers! Got it. We should start seeing... Are those killer saints robots? Yeah, but in overcoming the nightmare, they're now on your side. On to the next portal, then? Hold on, someone's going to have to stay to make sure this one stays open. Don't worry, I can keep these things in line. Take Matt with you to the next portal. Right, just keep yourself alive. We'll see you when we're all out of here. The second portal is over by the arena. I'm not sure I want to see what's in the next portal. Oh, don't worry so much. Besides, it's not like it's going to hurt you or anything. Still, there are certain people I'd rather not run into again. Come on, you kicked Kilbane's ass in that game. Actually, you did. You're the one who made all the choices for me. Hey, we don't even know if it's going to be Kilbane. Besides, it's not like there's gonna be an army of him pouring out from the portal. Did you really have to put that image in my head? Oh, come on, you big baby. Okay, this is it. Start clearing the area. I think I figured that one out. I'm trying to be helpful, you know. Give her a break, mate. She's under a lot of pressure. Okay, I'm sorry. There we go. I like them much better when they're not holding me prisoner. I take it you'll be good on your own. I have an army now. I'll be fine. But just make sure you follow the plan. Kinsey will get you to Zinyak, I'm sure of it. Thanks, Matt. Try not to have too much fun. One more portal, right? Yep, and it's working. The whole system is working overtime just to keep from falling apart. So this last portal isn't going to start pouring out annoyingly friendly people from that boring-ass town I was trapped in, right? What? Oh, God, no. You think I'd want to see that place any more than you would? I don't know, maybe miss wearing that... Finish that last sentence and you'll be missing a few limbs when you wake up. And don't worry, I'm linking this last one to something special. Ooh, I love it when you get all evil genius on me. Okay, third time's a charm. Good to be the president. You may want to get clear of the portal. No, really. Get clear of the portal. Holy shit. Is that Paul? Told you! Kenzie, I just may cry a little. Well, it's working. The simulation is shutting down. And that's good, right? Yes, except it's collapsing faster than anticipated. And if you don't get out soon, your mind will get trapped inside. So get moving! Shit, make sure the others get out too. Already done. We were both close to exit.
Daily work? We bought ourselves a window, but you gotta move fast. What's the plan? We're gonna kill a lot of aliens. I like it. To get to Zinyak's throne room, you'll need a spacesuit and some weapons for destroying the ship's outer defenses. The schematics show an armory not too far in. I'd head there and see what you can find. You heard the lady, let's move. Kenzie, are you guys shooting at this ship? No, why? Hey, it's like someone's setting up fireworks in here. There's a lot of power being rerouted to fixing what we did to the simulation. Guessing it's causing surges throughout the ship. So we're not blowing up? Well, I can't guarantee that, but most likely you're fine. I feel better already. Nice one, boss. If Kenzie doesn't know what's in the armory, what are we looking for? Anything that'll get us to Zenya. So, something big, it has a lot of flashy buttons. Yeah, that'd probably do the trick. Hey, I mean, it could be a button for self-destruct, or one that activates a Zen killing virus, or even... Here, it's not gonna have flashy buttons on it. Hey, maybe it'll be a robot. A robot wouldn't help you in space. What you need is... Let me guess. Power armor. Actually, I was going to say a space suit and a really big gun. You should be coming up on the armory now. We see the door. Small problem, Kinsey. It's locked. Damn it. The door override is on a closed system. You're on your own for this one. Boss, think you and Pierce can cover me? All right, we'll keep the Zen off you. Just get that door open. Shouldn't have fucked with the president. There. Got it. Never doubted you for a second, Shandy. All right, cover me while I grab what I can. Then I want you both back on the ship. A thank you would have been nice. Kenzie, <laughs> you'll never believe this. It's a robot, isn't it? No, Kenzie. It's power armor. <laughs> no way. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Time to finish this fight. Okay, now all you need to do is make it through the ship's infrastructure, take out all its defenses, and thereby clear a path for us to get to Zinyak. Oh, is that all? Easy enough? You pick the others up? Yep, everyone's on board. We'll be right behind you as you clear a path. You could come for me, but you don't stand a chance. One shall stand, one shall fall. Why throw away your life so recklessly, Saint? It's a question you should ask yourself, Zinyak. Kenzie, how do I get into Zinyak's throne room? Honestly, I can't find a way to open it up. But don't worry about it, Kenzie. I got another plan. gonna miss these bonding sessions when I kill you. <laughs> Look at you. Mercutio to my Tibble. Don't be too excited. Tibble dies at the end. I'm surprised you knew that. I didn't. Kinsey told me over the radio. Uh, well, at least you're honest. Always. That way you know I'm not lying when I say I'm gonna rip your goddamn head off. You're adorable. Zinjai? Yes, Your Excellency. Is the Empire watching? Of course, Your Excellency. Humanity is dead, my friend. The time has come for you to follow suit. Give them a choice. 
last time that changed. No more hiding, Sinyak. This changes nothing! The whole empire is about to change. No one's coming to save you now, Zinyak. The legacy of the Sin Empire will continue to live on. Time to take over a new home world. And so the Saints Empire was born. So, what exactly is Enter the Dominatrix? Oh man, are we really digging that up? It was really weird. It was amazing. Worst idea we've ever had. Really? Script made no sense, like, at all. Saints Row 4 was way more elegant. Pierce seemed to like it. Of course he liked it. It started off with him as mayor of Steelport. W wait. If Pierce was mayor, that means Mayor Reynolds and you were... Like I said, worst idea we've ever had. My administration was tough, but fair. I'd like to think the boss based their presidential performance on me. Yeah, that didn't happen. Of course, originally, they just booked me for a guest appearance, but I just chewed up the scenery so much they had to keep me. Of course, I did have to insist on several changes. Such as? Well, for instance, in ETD, that's short for Enter the Dominatrix, the Zin arrived with much fanfare, assaulting the city of Steelport. But, you know, I don't want to spoil it for you. See the mission, and you'll get what I wanted to change. The Zinn are surrounding us. We need to do something. We're heading out. Boss, grab a gun. I'm on it. We're gonna show Zinyak what the Saints are made of. All right, to the roof. Kinsey and I will meet you out front. Yes! To battle! Time to surprise these... You're going down. Zinyak! Sin. We got your back, boss. Where's John? Who cares? Focus on the Zin. People of Earth, surrender to the Zin Empire, and you will be spared. Mostly. The Zin have already taken over everything. Look at the buildings. They certainly know how to launch an invasion. I'll give them that. I warned you. Kinsey, you really gotta let this go. Not until you apologize for not listening to me. Fine. Kinsey, I'm sorry we sometimes don't listen to your crackpot conspiracy theories. There, we good? I... I don't think you mean that. But, yes. Your attempts to defend your home are noble. Clear? 
Josh is the boss's friend. What the hell? Why is the ground shaking? Oh, I love this part. Shit, what is that? Is that... This... We will never forget your sacrifice. I never got to tell him how I feel. Sinyak! That's how I remember it anyway. So cool. Yeah, shame we didn't have the budget to get it into the game. I forget. Why are we in the Gatmobile? We have to get to the mayor's office. Oh, right. Mayor Washington. Oh man, here I come. I love this part. Pierce has a location on Sydney. We have to get to him. Pierce is mayor now because Bert died in SR3, right? Yep. But you and Mayor Reynolds were together then, right? Right, with Viola de Winter. So if Bert died in the explosion, then how did you survive? Don't think too hard about it, Kinsey. was anyway, Pierce. Easy. I hacked the Zen network and found out where their base was. What? Pierce is a hacker now? Soon Shandy will be hacking. Actually, I was hacking stuff back in Saints Row too. Why am I even here? More tanks on the way. Zinyak! This ends here. Oh, here we go. Yes, this part. This was meant to be my shining moment. I mean, will you look at that health bar? Just, just, just insulting! Ah! Oh! And now they want to draw it out with these ridiculous button prompts! Oh, they really do belabor this, don't they? Okay, that's it. I've seen enough. I'm out of here. Donnie, thanks for agreeing to this interview. I'm really excited to get an outsider's perspective. Outsider? What are you talking about? I was like the main character of Saints Row 4. You weren't in Saints Row 4. What? It's already out. You weren't in it. Are you serious? We probably should have told him. Uh, I was just so excited. 
I couldn't bring myself to do it. Now I get what Dex is complaining about all the time. So what are we about to see? Well, after Zinyak gets killed, there's no one left to control the simulation. And in order to establish the order, the AI became sentient, taking the form of a dominatrix. Hence the name, Enter the Dominatrix. Yep, single entendre. Very clever. <sighs> anyway, the Dominatrix takes control over Zinyak's fleet and abducts everyone. That's where we meet Donnie, who takes on a sort of guru role and teaches all of us how to bend the rules of the simulation. What was it like working with Donnie? It was fun. He's a really nice guy. So why did he get cut? Well, you figure me, Matt, and Donnie all kind of filled the same techie Mary Sue role. You only needed two of us to bigger, so Donnie had to go. Why Donnie and not you or Matt? Oh, Matt and I blackmailed the shit out of people. Enjoy the clip! Donnie! Atreides was amazing! I can't believe we have superpowers! Well, now we have to put them to good use. With Zinyak gone, the Dominatrix was able to become the dominant AI of the simulation. Dominate AI? Is that why she's called the Dominatrix? Not exactly. Come on, I know how to find her. I always thought I should have delivered that explanation about how she took over. Kinsey, you know they gotta share the techie stuff. Wait, we're not showing the training sequence? Donnie, the training took a long time. Nobody wants to sit through that. But it was integral to the whole story on how I taught you all superpowers. And plus it had some of my best one-liners. Oh, I'm with you, man. I love my good zingers. That's not surprising. This is the area. Well, back for a little more. Playtime. Playtime? It's not what it sounds like. You have to admire that outfit. The fact that she agreed to wear it? Yeah. Admire. She teleported away. You really think two of you can stop me? You really think it's just the two of us here? There's more. Well then, perhaps I should introduce myself. Hang on. Hello? Boss, she's here and she's after me. I... Shondi! Shit, Donnie, she just got grabbed! Pierce, the dominatrix just took Shondi. Like hell she did! She's chasing my ass down! Hey, I need help! I... Damn it, now Pierce too! She must have split herself into two copies. You go after Pierce, I'll rescue Shondi. Got it. Donnie always goes after the girl. Oh, whatever. Well, being the hero is a hard habit to break. Can we just focus on what's about to happen against the dominatrix, please? Ah, oh, damn it! How come I had to be a victim and couldn't do the hero thing? I'm sure your day will come, Pierce. Oh, what have you two been doing? Oh, damn it! She locked me into this thing. Now get me down. Leave my new pet alone. Hey! Who you want with your pet, lady? I ain't nobody's pet. That's right, this one belongs to me. Hey! Damn it, not again. Where'd she go? She does that. Who the hell are all these guys? We live to serve the mission. That's just not right. Thank God. I don't even want to know where that rack's been. Um, hey. Donnie, you got Shonda yet? Yeah, about that. But we need you to come rescue us. Both of us. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that wasn't much of a rescue. Hey, not my fault. I was just following the script. Sure, that's what it was. Boss, look out! This makes getting to work faster. I allowed, I allowed you to, to rescue, rescue the man. These two, however, Okay, that's just not fair. Damn it, you're kidnapped too. What? No, I figured out a way to trap the dominatrix. Oh, thank God. I'm at the power plant. Get here quick. Don't worry, boss. I'll keep Donnie safe here. Gee, thanks. Remind me why you didn't get kidnapped too? I'm too smart for her. And I was always kind of hurt the boss thought I would have fallen for some sort of trap to hold me hostage. It was acting, Kinsey, remember? That's no excuse. Actually, it kind of is. Whatever, you could have changed the script. Now quiet, this is the best part. Kinsey, how come the Dominatrix hasn't found you yet? I've been able to mask my signal until I had everything set up. I'm just that good. You mentioned some sort of trap? I did, and it's totally brilliant. 
You see a set of boring. What the hell are you doing? Which is when I figured out how she's splitting her code, and then I could force her into a single body inside. Nope, still talking. Oh, come on! Pierce, don't be a dick. Hold on, I think this is it. So, just fight her till she's weak, then activate the first node. Rinse, repeat. Got it? Yep. Good, because I dropped the masking signal and she should be on her way. You freed my other playthings, but I see you brought me a pretty ginger every time. That's my ginger! You can't have her! Um, thanks? We'll just see about that, won't we? Whatever this attempt is, it won't change the fate of the saints! Chief down! Go activate the first node! Stop this now, and I will let you spend the rest of your lives serving me. You'll watch as I grow this world in my image! Not much of an incentive! Think of what we can accomplish together with you as my favorite pet. End this program and take your place under me. Start the next node. Ah! That's it. Only one more left. You'd think at this point the dominatrix will run away or something. Well, if you had listened to my explanation instead of skipping the majority of it, you'd know the nodes are also keeping her from escaping the area. Oh, right. What if your naughty librarian friend is wrong? What will you do if you fail? I offer you a chance to please me. Don't listen to her. Turn it on. Got her. Where? I thought you said this was gonna trap her. It did. It trapped her in a single body. Though I'm, I'm not exactly sure where. Perfect. So you've rescued your friends. What comes next? Eh, a lot of bullshit filler missions. I think there must have been like four escort missions in a row. It was so bad. Take Pierce to Terminal A. Protect Kinsey while she does nebulous task X. Guard Shandi while she drives to the widget factory. Uh, that was the worst. That widget factory mission was fucking painful to sit through. Worse than that Nightblade reboot. So anyway, we jump through an arbitrary number of hoops trying to track down this dominatrix, and lo and behold, we find her. In a sex club, how shocking. That was our idea. And why do I have to wear this again? To blend in? Oh, why are you wearing your regular clothes? Please. They know me here. So, how do we get the dominatrix? Her champion, Dom, is at his throne. Talk to him. The dominatrix champion is named Dom? Yeah. You make that sound weird. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm the one making this weird. Oh, God. He's in a dick chair. Hey there, your, uh, Domness? Moment of your time? The Dom recognizes the smartly dressed newcomer. Oh, hi, yeah. Uh, so I need to see the Dominatrix. Any idea where I can find her? If you wish to see the Dominatrix, you must prove your worth. Tend to my animals. Your an animals? The Dom's plushly adorned submissives. Put them back in their cages. Oh. Oh! Fine. Time to wrangle some furries. And done! All right, I caged your pets. Where's the dominatrix? Not yet. You must now prove your willingness to please. Fuck me. That's up to the client. You'll find him on the second floor. Make sure he is pleased. Okay, just keep telling yourself this isn't real. It's just a simulation. But make him feel special. This must be it. <laughs> Did somebody order a sex slave? Hello? Yo! Open the door! Hold on! I'm getting ready for you, baby. Zemos? Oh, shit! I didn't know you were here. I, I don't... Oh, God. Oh, shit. I can't do this. But if you haven't gone pro, then why are you here? I need to speak with the dominatrix. So Dom the Dom told me I had to... Yeah, but <laughs> no, 
No way. I mean, you know, no, no offense. It'd be like fucking my cousin. Look, I say you did a good job. Just don't tell anybody you saw me paying for ass. Oh my god! I wondered why Zemos and the boss couldn't look each other in the eye after this. I'm done. The client has been pleased. Back so soon. I hope you got your money's worth, Zemos. Oh, yeah. I really like the way they use their pinky tips. The dominatrix only meets with champions. A chariot race is starting soon, and it's attracted the best racers in the world. Take out your competition and come talk to me. You mean take out, like, kill, right? Okay, just making sure. I'm gonna get my riding crop. The competition has been eliminated. Where's this race happening? <laughs> oh, you fool! Those amateurs never stood a chance. You want to win the race? You'll need to defeat the Dom. You used me. You fucking used me! You are a submissive. You are made to be used. Come, my submissives. Tend to your dog. Beat all your asses in a bad way. A way you will not like. But you still have to win the race if you want to see the dominatrix. Zemos, to me! Man, this is bullshit. We ride! Are off. Wow, I never thought I'd be called upon to commentate a pony car racing sack. <laughs> Me neither, Bobby. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is against my contract. We have an exciting race ahead of us. Well, you might almost say it's going to be titillating, Bobby. The Saints are cleaning Four house, Four contestants Dad. have entered the track. Good night, sweet friend. And we got more ponies on the field. Oh, my! Down goes Slippery Nipple! Carrot today. So you rescued Zemos. What's next? The Dominatrix orders Paul to terrorize the city, and we need to figure out a way to stop it. It was our darkest hour, and despair was filling the saints. But Donny came forward with a plan to save us all. Let's not oversell it. He had us build a spaceship. As a team, Kinsey. As a team. You guys are at least showing the seven-minute QTE montage of us building the ship to fight Paul, right? Jesus! I didn't think getting a giant monster to eat us was going to be so difficult. I warned you Paul was dangerous. <sighs> when I heard Giant Saints flow can, I really didn't expect it to be that tough. Uh, at least the ship held up. Where are we headed anyway? To Paul's brain. That's where our weapons will do the most damage. Hold on. This thing has a brain. What exactly have I been drinking all of these years? I'm contractually prevented from divulging the secret ingredients in Saint's Flow. Let's focus on stopping Paul from destroying everything we've built up to fight the Dominatrix people. Oh, nice for you. I always wonder what my food saw when I ate it. <laughs> and people say I'm weird. Did the script ever say what those things floating inside Paul were? I don't remember that coming up. Oh, there's supposed to be stuff like ginseng, guarana, terrine, all those types of ingredients you'd find in a regular energy drink. And what about those big polyp-looking things? Ah, oh, those, uh, the, the, those are just, uh, stuff. Wait a minute. Didn't I see those before in a medical dissection video of a frog? Oh, look! We're almost to Paul's brain! This is it. If we release our payload here, it should cause a chain reaction that'll destroy Paul. I hope this works. Kenzie, nothing's happening. Ah, uh, 
The cargo holds packed too tight. Um, try shaking the ship from side to side until they come loose. What'd you do? Just stop everything in there, Pierce? You try getting all the fizzle stones and rivios away! We have to get out of here before the whole place blows. Then how exactly do we do that? Head for Paul's top. Oh, good. At least the intense escape from Paul wasn't cut. There it is. Go on, boss. Pop that top. And what you're about to see now is the grand finale. That's it? Look, I just don't think I can adequately justify what's about to happen. Would you say the President's assessment of the ending of Enter the Dominatrix is fair? If anything, they undersold it. It's batshit. I don't know, I think there's precedent. Totally. I'll put it to you this way. It was too crazy for Saints Row. Enjoy! <laughs> All right, Zemos. We defeated Zenyak, but his death enacted the Dominatrix failsafe that imprisoned us in a... a, a virtual world under... under the thumb of a leather-clad... goddess. Yeah. After a long, hard battle, it's all come down to this. And this being... that we take out the Dominatrix once and for all! Nice summary balls. Total ad-lib. Holy shit, this town is covered in sex workers! Hey, we got a super gimp up in our business! Super gimp. No, but that's a great movie, right? See, I remember this mission. They originally didn't have me in it. Can you believe that? Super gimp is down! You show that bitch how we do this shit uptown. Man, this is exciting. I can't wait until... No, 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 no. I'm gonna hold it in. Y'all just wait. So destroying the Dominatrix, that'll shut down the simulation? That's what they tell me, yeah. And if it doesn't? I don't know. But we sure as hell ain't finishing what we started up in that sex club. Given the chance, you know you'd get with this. Thank goodness you're here. We had to beat all the super gear. I am going to assume you Where is everyone else, Shondi? Donnie split off to check out the rest of the city, trying to get a handle on this. Boss, this shit's getting crazy over here. You free? We'll be right there, Donnie. Shondi, Zemos, on me! The Dominatrix is really pulling out all the stops. You got her running scared. You locked her into a single body, took out her champion, and destroyed her giant energy drink monster. What she got left? Never underestimate a bitch used to be in on top. Donnie! We're here! Things are getting fucking crazy, man! There's the Dominatrix! Bow before me, submissive. Yeah, we're not so good at taking orders, honey. You will learn. I'll go down that easily. <laughs> What's going on? The Zen are surrounding us. We need to do something. We're heading out, boss. Grab a gun. What the hell is going on? The Zen just came out of nowhere. It's insane. I've warned you people for years. But you're always, oh, Kinsey, that's crazy. You're going down, Zinyak. Kinsey, no offense, but you do say a lot of crazy shit. You're going down. There you are, baby. I've been tearing this damn place apart. Zemos, what happened? The Dominatrix rebooted the DLC. Follow the Z. I know the way back. <laughs> I see you're back. You think you're gonna get rid of me that easily? Impressive. But this battle isn't over yet. Knew I would. Oh, we did it. The Dominatrix has fallen. Now we can leave this nightmare simulation. We better get a move on, though. The way out is gonna close. What the hell? Who is that? More Zen? 
I don't know. It doesn't look like one of them. Get ready, boss. It could be anything. Hold it. They're not attacking. Wait a minute. Is that... That's right. Cut me out the mission. I brought the motherfucking cavalry. A dinosaur? Greetings. My name is D'Artagnan. I am an emissary of Cyrano, the king of a kind spacefaring people. <laughs> we are enemies of the Zen. Then you're a friend of ours, Brother Raptor. Well done, Pierce. I've... I've waited so long to hear that. The only way out is through a door at the far end of the simulation. We will help you escape. Climb on my back. We ride! Total fucking batshit. Hell, I'm just glad you're not riding me. Woo-wee. Follow me, saints. Out of the simulation into the ending cutscene. We have to hurry! Come on! I will sing you the song of my people! Boom, boom, akalakalaka boom! Boom, boom, akalaka boom boom! Boom, boom, akalakalaka boom! Boom, boom, akalaka boom boom! Open the door, that I'm the flower! Everybody rock the dinosaur! Open the door, that I'm the flower! Everybody rock the dinosaur! It was now that this 40 million years ago, I lit a cigarette! Built up a monkey start to go. The sun was spitting fire. The sky was blue as ice. I felt a little tired, so I went my only place. I walked the dinosaur. I walked the dinosaur. We Velociraptors are a proud people. In the beginning, we addressed the savagery of man by eating them. Later, we chose the path of enlightenment, choosing to leave their world rather than be brought down by their baser instincts. But, while humanity is capable of much cruelty, it is also capable of compassion, of honor, and the saints stand here as examples of that. Bring the heroes forward! We are in your debt, saints. What can Cyrano, the Raptor King, give to show you his thanks? A dinosaur with guns. Done. What say you, young warrior? Respect. People need to take me seriously. Any who questions the wisdom of Donald shall answer to me. Miss Kensington? Vengeance. You shall have it. And you, fairest Shondi? Cyrano, I want to be your queen. My hand, my heart, my kingdom, all belongs to you. Your subjects have named their reward. What can I do for you? You know, I'm pretty good, actually. Wanna go bowling, maybe? Yes. Yes, I do. My people, we cannot hide from the world any longer. We need to be a part of it, so that Raptor and human can stand side by side in harmony. Let our new era begin! For nearly a decade, we've watched the saints as they rose from humble beginnings to becoming an unstoppable force of nature. In that time, we've seen how the saints rose to power. We've seen how the saints enact vengeance. We've even seen how the saints united both humanity and velociraptors. 
But for the first time ever, I share with you their most important story yet. For this, my friends, is how the saints saved Christmas. Are you gonna help or what? I uh, wasn't planning on it. Come on, don't be such a Grinch. I don't even know what that means. What sort of childhood did you have? I just think there's more important things to think about than some bullshit holiday. Looks like someone never got on the nice list. Yeah, and see, that's the thing. There is no nice list. So Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Yule, Festivus? You don't care about any of it? That's right. You don't like the songs? Nope. You don't like the gift giving? I already take whatever I want. I said giving. Whatever. You don't get excited about setting up the Nightblade Nativity every year? Uh, that's slightly intriguing, but no. What about Santa? Fuck Santa. What's happening? Were we hit? No, the proximity alarm didn't go off. This is something different. Shandi? We don't have a lot of time. Claus is coming. What? Claus, a warlord from my time, your future. By the time we learned about him, it was too late. He was too powerful. The only chance we had to stop him was to send me back here to warn you. Oh, wait. If you could go back in time, why didn't you go back even further and warn us about Zenyak? Isn't that a little more important? You don't get it. This isn't about Earth. Come midnight, Christmas Day, Santa Claus is coming to town, and unless we stop him, he is going to put the universe on the naughty list. And trust me, you don't want to be on the naughty list. Sorry I asked. So Santa's evil? No, Zinyak's had Santa trapped for decades, slowly but surely degrading his mind. If we don't free him soon, it'll be too late, and he'll never be jolly old Saint Nick again. Guys, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. All right, all right, I'll save Santa. Oh, look, another terrible fucking sweater. Thanks, Kenzie. In Santa's nightmare world, the holiday spirit doesn't exist. So if you want to bring it back, you wear whatever it takes. Real guns aren't allowed here, so we'll have to check the store and do a little holiday shopping. Also, be careful of your language around Santa. We're trying to stay on his nice list. Are you serious? Come on, the town department store is just ahead. What's with the crowd? They're here for the Crimson Cowboy Carbine Action 200 shot range model air rifle. Crimson Cowboy! What have you done? Come on, is this about being naughty? You have no idea what that causes. Look! Those who are naughty, look to the sky and see your doom with the naked eye. You willfully break the world's laws. Now feel the wrath of the mighty claws. Oh, fudge. Come, come as fast as you can. You can't stop me or my gingerbread men. Now cookies are attacking me? Screw it, time for a little crimson cowboy action. Wait! Claws is still too strong, and you'll shoot your eye out! Ow! Damn it, that hurt! S Santa? Is it really you? I always warn children about the dangers of such toys. But why do you look so thin? The holiday spirit doesn't exist here anymore. Claws made sure of that. So... Santa, how do we stop it? Start by ringing the holiday bells in the town park. That should bring a little spirit back to the people. We're here. Ring the bells and then let's kill Claus. My dear Shandy, don't let your metallic parts turn your heart cold as well. Remember the holiday spirit you felt when you were younger. You know my name? 
Sam. I'm sorry. I've had no choice but to harden myself to fight the war. I, I forgot how I used to be. Don't worry. That same girl is still inside you. In fact, I'll bet there'll be a brand new hockey sack under the tree for you this year. You need it? Thanks, Santa. The bells began ringing in the cheer, but more needs to be done. I don't understand any of this, so I'm open to suggestions. There was once a theater in town that played one of the great holiday classics. But the projector was stolen and frozen in a pool by claws. Find that, and the people will remember what they loved about the holidays. So we have to play a movie. Yeah, this sounds like a plan. It is not just a movie. It is a symbol of all that is good about this time of year. Don't worry, sir. We can get the projector. And now, we must get it to the drive-in theater and turn on the magic of the season. It's a movie. Call it what it is. Oh, it's more than simply that. It creates a feeling of joy and happiness that comes with remembering the warmth this season brings to those who embrace it. Whatever you say. Yes, now quit being Grinch. I told the other you. I don't know what that means. The holiday spirit, it stings and burns. But that's not enough for the tide to turn. We brought him dead. He's not defeated yet. The electricity here just isn't enough to keep the projector working. We need more. I noticed precisely that while viewing your progress from our ship. Meet me at the clock tower and I will increase the power. And it is a pleasure to meet you, Santa. Where is that floating tin can? Uh Top of the clock tower. Keep Claus's minions from hurting me while I set up a conductor on this antenna. For what? A storm is brewing. Lightning is sure to strike. <laughs> what a wonderful idea. You must be joking. Sam, do you know what happened to the North Pole? Sadly, I do. Claus has shown me images of an attack on my... My head elf, Twinkle, has even joined me. Twinkle. He's the one who took my arm. I'm sorry, dear, but there is hope. The rest of the elves are being led by Tinsel against Claus's naughty forces. And Mary? <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm sure she can take care of herself and the North Pole until we are. That's the key. Claus gets a hand on the North Pole, and we're in serious trouble. I need you to put your tongue on the pole to help conduct the electricity. The fuck you say? Not in front of Santa. Sean, did you hear what Sid asked me to do? No way I'm doing that. No. Well then, I dare you. Jesus, are you alright? Dombey, I am not talking to you right now. The power is restored. I can feel the people in town filling with cheer. Hurry, we must return to the driver. Set this up so we can kill him and get out of here. The spirit's alive, but still I live. Come face me now, there's punishment to give. Don't let him fool. He's weakening. Keep your suit on, Santa, I got this. For a holiday here, you cannot say. I will not go to an early grave. Sorry, Claus, not from where I'm standing. Wait, what are you doing? Oh my god! What just happened? You cannot defeat Claus by doing naughty deeds, for those are what he thrives on. Claus is going after the North Pole, then we have to stop him. Indeed, you are correct. We cannot leave Mary and the elves to face him alone. Seriously? The North Pole? <laughs> Fine, let's go. I finally get to see it before it's been destroyed. <laughs> and perhaps make sure it never is. Claus has taken over Santa's workshop. He plans to deliver bombs and guns to children instead of, you know, dolls and trucks or whatever it is kids from your time like. 
The elves have mounted a resistance, but they will fail unless you help them. If Claus succeeds, the holidays are doomed. You must stop him. Here we are. My workshop is just ahead. Though it's hard to say what Claus has turned it into. What about Mrs. Claus? Oh, I wouldn't worry. If I know my wife, I bet she's decking the halls as we speak. Those savages! My prized pie of fame. And is that... Is that Dancer? Dancer? Oh, oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, sweet Cupid. Vixen! What have they done? Santa, take cover! I didn't come here to observe, child. I'm taking the North Pole back. Yes, yeah, Santa, you tell him. Santa! What's going on, Denzel? Claus has taken over the workshop. He's turned Tweedle and the boys are shipping and receiving again. Claus isn't going to get away with it. Twinkle even created a fleet of evil mechanical reindeer. So this is where the reign of mechanical animals began. We're clear. Looks like the workshop is ahead. Look at those snowmen. The claws killed my precious reindeer friends and made these... these... abominations. Okay, that's all of them. Santa, your time is over. Twinkle, how could you? Claws gave us a better deal, Fluffy. Weekends off, sick pay, and we get to make guns. My goodness, Claws has turned Twinkle and his cohorts into giant elves. Giant elves? Where? Right there. Can't you see? Wait, you, you mean the normal size people? Normal size to you, but giant for elves. My most trusted elf. He's been with me so long, I can't believe he betrayed me. It'll be okay, Sam, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Probably. Wow, boss. Real convincing. Now that Claus is grounded, what's next? We have to get into the workshop. Are you seriously feeling nothing here? Christmas is dying right before your eyes. Do you want me to lie, Shandy? It's just a holiday. That is so sad. Okay, here's the packing area. This is where the magic happens. And where the magic will die if we don't act soon. Don't say that, Santa. We're going to stop Claus. We're going to fix the future. With the front closed off, the only way into the workshop is through the present sorter. I always did look good in gift wrap. Shandy, dear. Can you be a good girl and stay here? If we don't make it, you have to tell the others. I'm not leaving your side, Santa. I need you to do this for me, Shandi. What? I've come too far to stop now. Do you know what I've been through? I've lost friends, compatriots, my arm. Oh, and an eye. Yes, and an eye. I can't just give you up, Santa. This is about something much bigger than me, Shandi. This is about Christmas. And those other holidays, too. Fine. Fine. I'll stay. But don't forget about me. Thank you, dear. I won't. I love the smell of burnt icing in the morning. Oh, honey, you're okay. No time to talk, sweetie. The elves and I are kicking ass. <laughs> Like I said, he's decking the halls. Oh, this Claus is a badass. The only good cookie is a dead one. I don't think so. Dear, what happened? Twinkle turned everyone against us. Me and the Elf Resistance have been trying to protect the pole. Is it safe? You know it, hun. But this fight is far from over. Oh, the North Pole is a weapon? The North Pole is whatever you need it to be. But mainly, yeah. 
It's a weapon. Oh, I think you'll find something special for you, too. For me? Santa, you shouldn't have. What's Christmas without some music? Hey there, Santa. How are you? Don't you know your days are through? Claws, you fiend! Stay back, dear. We got this. I'm fighting too, honey. Your army never will give me pause. For none can stop the mighty claws. Where'd that animal claws go? He probably popped away to some other simulation. I thought taking out his reindeer would stop him. The sleigh can take us wherever we want to go. Our workshop is in shambles. It's all right, hon. We'll fix this. We'll rebuild. Right, kid? Yeah. We'll fix this, Santa. Wait, what about that Shandy girl? Oh, I'll go get her, dear. I'm Claus is holed up under a protective shield gaining strength. At midnight, he'll be unstoppable. Unless you can bring holiday cheer back to the people before the clock strikes 12. Use Santa's sleigh to deliver presents to those on the nice list. Punish the naughty with coal. Hopefully we can kill the bastard and save your future from the hell I've lived. So how can I use your sleigh to bring holiday cheer to the people? It's really quite simple. You must deliver presents to the nice girls and boys, and send coal to those who are naughty. Seems easy enough. Oh, believe me. Try visiting the entire world in a single evening before you say it's easy. <laughs> Though, as my Junior Santa, I'm sure you'll do just fine. We call me Junior Santa. Careful. Claws would even turn the weather against you if you fly too high. All right, time for the gift giving. And don't forget coal delivery. That's very important. For me. How does giving out coal spread cheer anyway? It reminds people that they have to be better if they want to be on the nice list. After all, nobody wants to be on the naughty list. And, and what about me? Am, am I on the nice list? You've come a long way since you rescued me. But you still need to understand the true giving spirit of the holidays. I'm trying, Santa. I'm trying. Wake up and get your presents, people! <laughs> you don't want them to wake up. It's important you make deliveries while people still sleep in their beds. People already believe you exist. I mean, well, not me before, but now I do. So why hide? That's a story I'm sure you're not interested in. Really? Really? I'd, I'd love to know. I mean, as your junior Santa, it may come in handy. Well, there may have been an incident with a mother attacking me under some mistletoe. When Mary saw the lipstick on my fur collar, I told her it wasn't my fault. But ever since then, she's insisted I only deliver presents while everyone's asleep. Oh, yeah. Okay, so not so handy to know. If you're naughty and you know it, here's some coal. If you're naughty and you know it, here's some coal. If you're naughty and you know it, then the flames will surely show it. If you're naughty and you know it, here's some coal. That's quite a catchy song. Hey, would you mind if I sang it on future holidays? Go right ahead. The shield is weak. We should be able to destroy him now. You have it in your heart to defeat Claw. Remember to embrace the spirit of the season. I will, Santa. Thank you. It's almost midnight. You have to hurry. The spirit's alive, but still I stand. Once you are dead, I'll corrupt this land. Oh, snowballs! I'm fine. Don't worry, dear. We're here to 
you about a holiday feeding. Looks like Claus is still untouchable. What happened? The spirit is stirring, but this city leans heavy on the naughty side. Different symbols of this season, and maybe these people will come around. Uh, what is this pole in? How do I light it on fire? How can you not know what a Festivus pole is? You need to perform a feat of strength! Take that! Uh, pole? Now we all have to bitch at each other! Come again? It's called airing grievances. I, I can't stand those diet cookies. Wait a minute. My turn! I'm sick and tired of how everyone takes it for granted that I'm always going to hack this or find information on that or know where to go and what to do next. Do I ever get a bonus or some gift for doing all this for you? No. Kenzie, we gave you the spaceship. Oh. Yeah, I guess you did. Well, never mind then. What about you, Pierce? You always complain about something. Let's hear it. Nah, cool. You can't be serious. Really? I got nothing. Well, it's a holiday miracle. Cheer to crack that shield! Open to suggestions here! Finish delivering the presents, of course! They're all destroyed with the sleigh! Well then, Saint Kinsey to the rescue! Where did you get all these? You can't stop Christmas just because of a crashed sleigh and a few broken presents. I figured since you gave me the spaceship, I might as well help save the holidays. You put my workshop out of business, young lady. Santa, I'd never want to step on your toes like that. Oh, he's just teasing you. It's impossible to tell the difference between sometimes. Use your telekinesis to pop out the presents! Oh, you've been good. good. You think it's cheer, but you cannot see. All of these people now serve me! Claus is converting more people! Keep it up! He's getting desperate! You can't kill my holiday! Let them cheer to see the horns! Did it! Look out in wonder. Here comes Claus to tear you asunder. Ah, oh, shit. Are we too late to stop him? No. He used up all his power just to strengthen himself. We have to kill him now. Shawnee, this isn't working. I don't understand it. He should be dying. Well, that's because he's protected by the hatred and greed of those still on the north. Only one thing can cure that. Hearing and sharing. <laughs> I know. Claus needs his own top-of-the-line laptop and bondage harness. Well, it wouldn't be a holiday without new bakeware and a flamethrower. just want to be clear. You can't murder your way onto the nice list. Santa, I... You never believed in me. But despite that, you spread cheer to the people of Steelport. You saved the holiday. And for that, I thank you. But it takes more than one good deed to show a change of heart. I know, Santa. Listen, the night isn't over yet. Experience the joy of Christmas, not because it would keep me from becoming a god tyrant, but because it feels good to spread joy to strangers and build memories with family and friends. You do that, and I'll put you on the nice list. Are you sure there's time? It's Christmas. There's always time for a miracle. 